AVC Sports presents High School Football. Tonight's game is brought to you by Patrons Buckeye Mutual Insurance, Don't Ford, WB Green Insurance, West 40 Auto Sales, People's Bank, Laborers Local 530, Flag Floors, Hissom Service Center, Barnesville Dairy Queen, Farmers and Merchants Bank, Barnesville Hospital, WVU Med, State Farm, Sue Snow, Chandler Funeral Home, Patty's Place, Boyd Precision Painting, McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home, and Morgan Vaughn, Leonard and Newland Real Estate. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for some high school football on WBNV. I'm Bill Castler. Joining me tonight, Mark Brown. And tonight, the undefeated Barnesville Shamrocks will take on the Shenandoah Zeps. And, Mark, I got to tell you this. I saw the Shamrocks a couple weeks ago. They are the most complete football team that I have seen this year. Yeah, and probably one of the most complete teams Barnesville's had in many years. They really have no weaknesses. Uh, even though they've lost some people because of injuries, they've got the next man up mentality, and those guys have done great, and we'll talk about those injuries later. But uh, you're right, they are a very, very good team uh, and have really not even been tested this year. Uh, so that uh, will be interesting down the road, but for right now, the only thing they have on their minds is Shenandoah. Yeah, and not being tested this year is the next thing on my agenda because because of their schedule, they're not ranked in Division Five, and I can't see. Somebody is missing some film somewhere because these guys are good. Yes, they are. Um, Barnesville not in the AP Top Ten and uh, didn't even get any points at all. I think that, you know, the they last week they did five. not, they, yes. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago they had a couple, and this week they didn't. Uh, so anyway, you know, that's a, sort of a moot point because you do have playoffs, so they get, they're that good. They can prove themselves in a couple weeks in the playoffs. But you're right, they're, they're a very good team, you know, one of the better teams, if not the best team in the area. Uh, so we'll um, see what happens here tonight with the Shenandoah team that is minus their star athlete. Well, you, you can't, uh, yeah, you, you can't, uh, you can't put enough emphasis on that. I mean, the quarterback that the uh, Zeps are going to be missing tonight, Braxton Barnett, he's outstanding. He was one of their top running backs. He was an excellent passer. Only a sophomore, so he's got more time. He'll be back next year, but he is gone for the year with a thumb injury, and that really does hurt Shannon. Yes, Dillon. it does. He had 1,700 yards passing as of last week, and, uh, uh, about uh, 20 touchdowns so you know they are going to miss him badly uh, for the rest of the season as we said that thumb injury will keep him out the rest of the year right now they are 18th um, in the computer ratings they have to be the top 16 of course to get to the playoffs so you know unless they can pull off a big upset either tonight or next week at Caldwell they're probably going to be done after next week both pretty tall orders but uh, one thing I do want to say about Shenandoah and of course that is with Braxton Barnett they have been in every game this year they've not gone to a running clock this year the Zeps have uh, competed well and they've lost some tight games this year but I'll tell you what tonight without Barnett without their quarterback this is a tall order yes it is and uh you know, we don't know exactly. We've heard a couple different versions of who's going to play quarterback tonight. We'll wait and see. Uh, Barnesville will get the ball first. They, uh, Shandoah won the toss and deferred, so Barnesville took the, well, of course, start uh, on offense. And all the former games this year, when they Barnesville wins the toss, they've elected to go first on offense anyway. They like to get that offense out there and try the score first thing. So this is right what they would have done anyway if they'd won, most likely. Well, we're pretty sure who's going to play quarterback for uh, Barnesville. Carpenter is going to be in there tonight. He's been in there all year. He's very solid. But uh, the, the latest rumor that I have, number eight, Brendan Portman, is going to be the quarterback tonight for the Zeps. And one thing about him, it changes their attack quite a bit. They do quite a bit of wildcat with Portman behind center. Right. He's one of their leading receivers. And they've got two or three very good receivers here at Shenandoah. And, uh, you know, when something like this happens, your goal, you try to get the ball in your playmaker's hands. And uh, Portman is one of those playmakers for sure. Hunter Yates, uh, Portman, of course, and Weston Wiley, all very good receivers and good athletes. And uh, 
We'll see how they go about if they've made some adjustments this year to get the ball in those athletes' hands. Well, they've got number 16, uh, Davin Kunkel, uh, who's just a freshman, who was the backup quarterback when all this merry-go-round started. Now, Kunkel, being just a freshman, I think that they're going to try to hold him out. We may see him tonight. I was watching him on the field. He's got a good arm, although Portman has a good arm as well. Right. I've not seen uh, Portman play, of course, quarterback. I don't know if anybody has. But, uh, yes, he's, he's just a good athlete, and you figure that'll – throw some wrinkles in and if they do that wild cut or you know they may not even try to throw much tonight who knows we don't know what he can do but if he gets the ball in his hands he's going to be dangerous all right so defense have to be aware of him interesting matchup tonight it's the uh, shamrocks it's the zeps we're going to take a quick break we'll be back with more from shenandoah high school right after this people's bank's vision is to be the best community bank in america People's Bank provides local, hometown relationship-based banking with 132 full-service branches for all of your financial needs. As your community bank, People's Bank strives to make our communities a better place to live, work, and play. We would love a chance to earn your business. People's Bank. Working together. Building success. Member FDIC. Hi, I'm Morgan Vaughn with Leonard & Newland Real Estate Services. Are you looking for a new home or property to build your dream home one? I can help. Contact me, Morgan Vaughn, at 740-228-2825 or go to leonardandnewland.com and click on my name, Morgan Bond. We'll get you home. Good luck to all of the local football teams this season. Flag Floors of Barnesville has been delivering superior quality flooring solutions for over 30 years. They feature carpet, vinyl, wood, and ceramic flooring and cater to both residential and commercial customers. They also have custom cabinets, Kensington high-performance windows, and Liberty safes, including handgun vaults. Flag Floors even has a complete line of rental items to help you tackle those jobs and a wide range of cleaners and polishers. It's all at Flag Floors, 324 South Chestnut Street in Barnesville. Call 425-3344. Visit them online at flagfloors.com and like them on Facebook. Three little words no parent wants to hear. My tummy hurts. And it always seems to happen at the worst times. Like in the middle of the morning rush, when you still have homework to check and lunches to pack, and of course, you're already late for work. Luckily, there's Pepto Kids. Pepto Kids gummies help relieve occasional stomach upsets, turning those three words into these three words. I feel better. Bad time for stomach upsets? Good time for Pepto Kids gummies. Fast support for little tummies. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Hi, this is Dr. Brad Schaefer. As a podiatrist, I can tell you no two people's feet are alike, which is why I recommend Dr. Scholl's Custom Fit Orthotic Inserts. They're customized for your feet, so you get a unique solution your feet really need, not just a one-size-fits-all insole. They're clinically proven to provide pain relief for achy feet, knees, lower back, plantar fasciitis, and heels. Take the Dr. Scholl's Custom Fit Orthotics Assessment in Walmart today, now in the foot care aisle. I'm not buying till I check down for most of us are faced with uncertainty every day. Your job, your finances, sporting events, schooling for your children, and so much more. With so much uncertainty surrounding you, there's one auto dealership that you can be certain about, and that's Doan Ford. You can be certain that you'll always get a great deal and the best service afterwards. In business for nearly 60 years has given Doan Ford the reputation of being a strong, reliable dealership. Be certain. Choose Doan Ford online at DoanFord.com. Welcome back to Shenandoah High School. Bill Kastler, Mark Brown with you here getting ready for kickoff. And uh, Mark, uh, before we wrap up our Chandler Funeral Home uh, pregame show, you had a couple stats about the uh, Barnesville quarterback. Uh, that's Casey, Casey Carpenter, Carpenter right. that you want to I, I don't want to get him and Camden mixed up I did it last week so yeah okay you would pass those stats on yep. he's, he's pretty impressive you here yeah he's 79 of 113 passing the ball 1500 yards 21 touchdowns he's thrown and the most impressive stat he has not thrown an interception this year in 113 attempts smart football players got a good that is arm, a junior and I'll tell you what he he is a he's a great game facilitator that's uh that is what I have seen out of uh, Casey Carpenter so far. Just a junior, too. So, yes. Shamrock fans, you've got another year of this. Getting ready now for the Doan Ford kickoff. Let's see. Kicking off for the Zeps. Uh, that is uh, number three, Weston Miley. Low, low kick. And that's going to be picked up by one of the upmen for the Shamrocks. 
It's going to be some great field position for Barnesville all the way to the 46-yard line. Trying that's, to see who picked that that's up. That's Camden Carpenter. Camden Carpenter, and that's the that's the guy I kept mi mixing uh, Casey up with the other week. He's got some speed, Camden Carpenter yes, does. He's, he's a good receiver. Yes. So Barnesville will get the ball first. First and 10, just inside their own territory on their 46-yard line. Camden Carpenter, the quarterback, up under center this Casey time. Casey Carpenter. Casey Carpenter. <laughs> I'll get it. I'll, I'll get it. Yeah, there we go. That's the star. Oh, a nice hole right up the middle. He's going to break it. The 40, the 30, the 20, 25. One man to beat. Touchdown. That is a 54-yard touchdown run. The first play of the game, and he went right over his right lineman and scored a touchdown. I'll tell you something right now. I mean, that was right between the guard and the tackle, and uh, they cleared a pretty good path. One thing about Barnesville is they get to that second level, and there wasn't any linebackers that touched him, and when he got past that, he was off to the races. 11.28 left in the first. Shamrocks breaking out to a 6 nothing lead. Low snap. Picked up. Nice job by the holder, and it is good. Wow. So... 11.28 left in the first quarter. Barnesville with a quick strike offense. The score, Shamrock 7, Zepps nothing. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more right after this. Discover, this is Danny. Hi, it's Jen Coolidge. I just want to thank you for making me feel so special. I earned cash back on debit for my dinner party groceries. That's great. But with Discover Cashback Debit, we give everyone cash back on everyday purchases. Anything else I can help you with? Are you hungry? Because everyone left after the asparagus sorbet. Introducing Discover Cashback Debit, a checking account with cash back. It pays to Discover. Eligibility in terms at discover.com slash cashback debit. Discover Bank, member FDIC. This new Wendy's Frosty flavor is way too exciting to keep under wraps. It's a brand new, first-of-its-kind flavor. Get this, pumpkin spice. I know, right? It's so good. It's rich, it's cozy. It's the perfect flavor for some fall frosty time. Watch, everyone will see it and jump on the bandwagon. Grab a never-before-seen pumpkin spice frosty or pumpkin spice frosty cream cold brew today when you choose wisely. Choose Wendy's. Limited time only. Participating U.S. Wendy's vanilla frosty is temporarily unavailable. And we're back preparing for the Doan Ford kickoff. This time, the Shamrocks will be kicking the ball off, and that's Evan Lowe doing the honors. Low line drive kick picked up by one of the up men. That, I believe, is uh, Miley for the Zeps, and he is snowed under right around the 34-yard line. It will be first and 10 Shenandoah right there. Weston Miley picking that ball up. Boy, I'll tell you what, those, those little squib kicks, those are dangerous. Those things bounce around, but a good job uh, by the Shenandoah Upman to pick that ball up. Yep. Now we're going to see who the quarterback is for Shenandoah. Brendan Loudon, the Barnesville kicker, he can kick it down to about the 5 or 10 yard line, but sometimes they have him do that, and other times they will have him squib it like he just did. It's a good strategy. Prevents the real good returners from getting their hands on the ball, and it's, it's a live football. It's hard to, those things bounce all over the place. All right, it is Brendan Portman, the quarterback, in the Wildcat formation for the Zeps. The snap, the run right up the middle, not a whole bunch of room. I'll tell you something right now, Mark. If you're going to try to uh, challenge that Barnesville defensive line, that, that's, a, that's a tall order right there. They're good. Yes, uh, they both lines, even with uh, two of their better linemen out for the year, uh, Luke Taylor and Salvador Almaraz, they've got good replacements. Actually, Christian uh, Hannes in there, he is starting in the place of one of them. He's a freshman. Portman, the quarterback. Snap. Oh, fumbles the snap, and he snowed under. I think he got the ball back, but Just wow. barely. And he's going to lose about three yards on the play, so. That was a low snap. He's a junior. He come in there and put the first hit on him, so that is a loss of one yard. That's going to make it third down and ten for the Zeps. A definite passing situation, but without their starting quarterback, let's see what Coach Lowry opts to do here. A snap. 
Portman rolling, rolling. He's got some room. Now he takes off and runs, but they shut it down pretty quickly. Nice gain on the play. He's going to pick up right around six yards, but it'll bring up a fourth down, right around four to go. Looks like Shenandoah will have to punt this one away. That'll be Alan Craker, the sophomore, made the tackle. And coming into the game uh, for the Zeps, that is uh, number 23, Tate DeVault. I believe he is the punter. Yeah, I watched him in warm-ups. He can, he's got a good leg on him. He was booming him pretty deep. We'll see what happens when he's under pressure. Kick, it's yep. a low line drive kick. He almost got that blocked. Duker Costello picks it up, and he's going to take it to the side. Oh, oh boy. I'll tell you right now, uh, there's a yep. flag, yes, and it was... I'll tell you what, a little bit of, uh, I don't think that that was a dirty hit. I think that he just lost his place on the field and hit him as he was stepping out of bounds. Well, he was two or three steps out being dragged by somebody else and then didn't catch who the tackler was, but he hit him pretty solid. But you're right, I don't look like anything 59. dirty. Yeah. yeah, you just see that man struggling for extra yardage and you, you know your job is to hit him. So that's going to cost the Zeps probably some penalty yardage here. Let's see what the call is first. I believe it is a late hit. Dead ball, personal foul. Dead ball, personal foul. It's a late hit. That would be 15 yards. It's going to move the ball all the way up to right around the 46-yard line of the Shamrocks. Exactly where they started their last drive and scored a touchdown on wow. one play. You call that a drive, it was one play. <laughs> so it was lightning in a bottle is what it was. Great blocking at the point of attack by the Shamrocks, who lead 7-0 on that one play. Barnesville forcing the Zeps to punt on a three and out. Carpenter, the quarterback, the pitch to Starr. This time he's trying the left side, cuts it back up, and got some room. This time he doesn't go for a touchdown, but he's got enough for a Caldwell Lumber first down. He is all the way down to the Shenandoah 42-yard line. Nice cutback by Taysen Starr. He's having a good year, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's, uh, that's a 12-yard gain. He's about 600 yards on the year. He did miss the Bel Air game because of an injury. I have Bel Air, that is, uh, that's who the Jets have tonight, isn't it? Correct. Yes. And that's at Union Local. Casey Carpenter, the quarterback, up under center again. The snap, the fake. This time Carpenter's back. He's looking. He's going to throw it deep. There's a man down there. Nice play defensively. Great job there, and I'm trying to get a get the glasses on whoever that was. That ball was on target, but it was tipped away very nicely. Looks like, uh, was that number 11? Was that uh, I believe Brady so. McIntyre, Bradley McIntyre? No, no that's uh, McIntyre no, place for Barnes. Yeah, I'm sorry, wrong, wrong, <laughs> wrong roster. We'll get it. Hunter House, number 11. And by the way, for our Barnesville listeners, Brady McIntyre not dressed tonight because of a hamstring injury. Ah, uh, the tight end. And I saw yes. him play against Caldwell. Yes, he's a good player. He's been really uh, doing well lately. Carpenter, the quarterback, up under center again. There's a gift to the fullback. Not much room this time. Good job by the Zepps defense to shut things down. Short gain. That's Trey Tolliver. And he will be most likely the replacement next year at tailback for Star. Tolliver had a 180-yard gain game against um, Bel Air, and he is a freshman. I believe Tayson Starr was out for that game, wasn't he? Against Bel Air. Yes, he was. Yes, correct. He was. Right. So he is starting, but they play him at fullback rather than tailback, although you will see him move back there some. Uh, this time Carpenter back in the shotgun formation. Third down, right around eight to go for the Shamrocks. The snap. This will be it's a wildcat, and they get it out to Duker Costello, who's run out of bounds. Not enough for the first down. And that was actually Taysen Starr that threw that. It was a wildcat. The snap went to Taysen Starr, and he threw it over to Duker Costello, but... I believe there's no gain on that. And Barnzo, I wouldn't be surprised to see them go for it. I think they trust yeah, their defense yeah, and they're in their they're own on, territory. They're on the 38-yard yeah. line. And uh, yeah. I would say this is probably a good call. Early in the game, up 7-0. 8.03 left in the first. Shamrocks have a 7-0 lead on a 54-yard run by Taysen Starr. Carpenter, the quarterback, in shotgun formation again. Twins right, twins left, snap. Carpenter back, looking, looking, looking. Got some time, now he's gonna throw it back across the grain, and let's see, did he pick that up? 
I think it may have hit the ground first. We'll see. And are they saying incomplete? That will turn the ball back over to the Zeps on downs. Okay, Casey Carpenter throwing that on the run. He is a left-hander, and he was running to the left, but he just uh, let go of it a split second too late, and it hit the ground right in front of Good job. Chatling. Good coverage downfield by yes. the Zepps defense. A, a nice job there. Had to throw that ball back across his body and uh, just couldn't quite make the connection. So 7.57 left here in the first. Zepps with the turnover on downs. And Brendan Portman is back in that Wildcat. At uh, He's uh, the quarterback. In for the injured Braxton Barnett. Portman's going to throw it down the field, and that is the straight out, you just try to outrun your guy play. And uh, didn't work that time. Intended target there, number five, Hunter Yates. And Duke Costello, good coverage right on him there. So that is the first pass attempt, pass attempt, excuse me, of the game. Uh, for uh, Portman. Well, that does a few things for the Zeps. They'll uh, try to loosen the secondary up a little bit. Keeps you honest. Costello and Hunter Yates, that's a good matchup. Two good athletes. Portman, the quarterback. Here's the Jet, ooh, nothing doing. Boy, Zeps, uh, that was uh, number 28. That was Landon Lively. And uh, he, f he found no room. And that was um, for Barnesville on that tackle. Hines Ford, a sophomore, playing good defense from a linebacker position this year. But I was impressed with the Shamrocks' defensive line. They did a great job against Caldwell, doing the same thing tonight, keeping that... Uh, Shenandoah offensive line at one level. Oh, bad snap. Picked up, and yeah. Portman's not going to uh, gain anything. That was Taysen Starr on the first hit, and then joined there by Heinz Ford. Portman, and um, Portman, I think, was just happy he was able to scoop the ball yeah. up. Lost a yard, so that's going to bring in Devald again to punt the ball away. Duker, Costello, and Luke Detling back deep to receive for the Shamrocks. Duvall, the punter, the snap. This time a little high, lazy punt. Going to let it hit. It's going to take a roll out of bounds. It's going to give the Shamrocks decent field position at the 34-yard line. So Shenandoah still looking for their first first down of the game. Yeah, Shamrock's defense, Maybe it just every bit as good as that offense is. They're just solid everywhere. And we'll go, um, not sure who, I've been trying to look in there. I can't tell who the tight end replacement is here for Brady McIntyre tonight. I think it's Camden Carpenter. No, movement on the line. I think that's going to be on Barnesville. So that'll cost the Shamrocks five. While we got a moment here, we'll go through real quickly. Uh, Marshall Meade is the center for Barnesville. The two guards are Hank Johnson and Dylan Lucas. Tackles Brandon Butler and Christian Hannes. As we said, Christian replacing. He's a freshman. And Cam Carpenter, the tight end tonight. And we'll go through the skill players here in a minute. All right, Carpenter, the quarterback, up under center. The snap, going to throw it out. Wide receiver screen, and uh, nice job breaking a tackle out there. Good job. Was that Heinz Ford, number six? No, that's Luke Detling. Luke Detling, number eight, then. My mistake, six and eight, a little bit hard to uh, determine from this uh Vantage point. But that was an out throw there. Then uh, Duker Costello was the other receiver out there, and he threw a nice block and enabled Luke uh, Detlin to get on the outside. Tell you what, if you're going to run that kind of a play, you have to count on the other guy out there to throw a nice block. Carpenter up under center this time. Snap to give straight ahead. Star. He busts through the middle, breaks another tackle. He's off to the races again. The 20, the 10, five touchdown Shamrocks. And that will be a 48 yard run. 
Wow. Taysen Starr having a night tonight. He's broke two big runs. So 13-0 Barnesville, 6-17 left here in the first quarter. Three carries. Yeah, three or four carries for Star, and man, he's he's having a night. Absolutely having a night, isn't he? All right, extra point now. Ball's down, it's up, it is good. So Evan Lowe, the kicker. 6.17 left here in the first quarter. Evan Lowe converts. The Shamrocks have a 14-0 lead. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this. Discover excellence at Hissom Service Center and Towing on East Main Street, Barnesville. Family owned since 1974, they're your one-stop solution. Propane, full-service gas, on-off-road diesel, non-ethanol, they've got it all. Expert body shop with free estimates and service garage for oil changes, alignments, AC charging, brakes, and more. Proudly supporting Barnesville Shamrock athletes. Good luck this year. Go Rocks! Trust Hissom's for top-notch service and community spirit. Your home and your car are likely your two biggest investments. Protecting them from unexpected damage is a prime concern to WB Green Insurance. They are proud to represent Westfield Insurance, a financial service organization that provides insurance products for your home, auto, and business. Sharing knowledge, building trust is Westfield Insurance's pledge to their customers, along with personalized claim service that's fast and friendly. To learn how Westfield can help with your insurance needs, talk to WB Green Insurance today. And the Doan Ford kickoff by the Shamrocks, fielded by one of the up men. That's Wes Miley again. Miley, ooh! Man, he almost broke that. Nice job in there. I think that was, was that number 16, Jack Anderson in yes. there? Nice tackle by Anderson. May have sa saved a big return at the very least. Yes, he just tripped him up, as you could see, if you're watching the game on YouTube television, YRP TV. Just uh, able to grab him by the ankle. If not, he may have been gone. Or the YRPTV Facebook page. You could do either one. Yes. Or yourradioplace.com. That's right. Got the links there. So you can watch the action tonight. Or if, you know, you just want to listen to Mark and I, that's fine too. Unfortunately, we're on television also, so you <laughs> yeah. don't have any choice. They don't, they don't put our picture on. That's <laughs> probably the best thing yes. about that. 14 nothing Barnesville. Portman, the quarterback for the Zepp, straight ahead. A short gain, maybe about three yards on the play. 6.05, clock running. Zepp still looking for their first, first down to this football game. And that was Blake Kirk, the 5'10", 250-pound junior, making the tackle for Barnesville. 5.50 left here in the first quarter. 14 nothing Shamrocks. And just to mention Taysen Starr, 114 yards already on three carries, two touchdowns. 104 yards on the two uh, carries for touchdown. Here's a nice job by Portman. Second effort's going to take him to right around midfield. That's going to bring up a third down right around four to go for the Zepps. Man, Taysen Star, a 56-yard run and a 48-yard run on two plays, both for touchdowns. Portman straight ahead. Bounces off the back of his offensive line and no gain on the play. Let's see. Looks to me like 52 and 62. That's uh, Marshall Mead and Braden Butler in there on the tackle for the Shamrocks. Fourth down. Looks to me like the Zepps are going to go for it. Why not, Brownie? You, uh, you need to have uh, some first downs. You need to give your defense a little bit of a break here. They got play being called in. The players all looking at their wrist. Portman, the Sheets. quarterback. Snap, high snap. The fake straight ahead, and he's close. Depends on the spot. Let's see where they mark it. Yeah, they're going to give him a first down. Ah, Caldwell Lumber first down for the Zips. He needed four. three yards, and he got about three and a half. Yes, he did. Wasn't wasn't by a whole lot. A little bit of misdirection there by Shenandoah. They faked the jet sweep and Portman took it back the other direction. Nice crowd here tonight. You can hear some of them from Barnesville. 
great yep. following for the Rocks. Portman, the quarterback, standing at midfield. Zepps have the football. 28, Lively's got it. Lively's got some room. He's going to have another first down. He's going to take it down inside the Barnesville 30 to right around the 27-yard line. So that time the jet sweep works. That's an 18-yard gain for Lively. Good blocking that time by the Zepps at the point of attack. So Portman, the quarterback. And as we said, they'll run the ball quite a bit now without their starting quarterback, Braxton Barnett, in the lineup tonight. Out for the year with a thumb injury. Straight ahead, Lively. This time, wow. He lost a yard. Just uh, basically took the ball up to the line of scrimmage. It was like he hit a wall. Yeah, Marshall Meade and Alan Craker in on the tackle. Ah, so I told you, it was like he hit a wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. And no gain for Lively on that one. Second and 10 now. Portman, the quarterback. Portman, gonna try, and he's got trouble. They are all over, great penetration there. Uh, that was Meade in there again. And some other shamrocks as well. Looks Craker like- Craker again. Yeah, Craker in there. And uh, wow. That's, uh, that's gonna be a gain of one, believe it or not, but uh, Portman had to work for that one. Barnesville, besides just being strong inside, they pursue well from side to side. Once in a while, you'll see uh, somebody break one outside on them, but not very often. Oh, we saw Lively. Yes, he broke right. an 18-yard run here just a few plays ago. Portman, the quarterback, in shotgun again. The snap, Portman back. This time he's going to gun it down the field. He's got one-on-one -on -one coverage. Duker Costello picks that off. Fights off his man. The 10, the 15, the 20, up to the 30-yard line. He's going to run out of bounds. Barnesville football. Duker Costello with the interception. He's quite an athlete. Yes, he is. I tell you, if a ball's in his area, he'll almost always catch it. And he, you very see, seldom see much separation uh, between him and the man he's guarding. Well, Hunter Yates is out there, and Hunter Yates is out He's the best receiver Shenandoah has. And, uh, you know, I think that Barnett might have put a little bit more touch on that football if he was in there. Portman tried to gun it down in there, and Duker, was, he was all over it. And ball maybe just a little bit underthrown. So first and 10, Shamrocks. Casey Carpenter, the quarterback, he's back. He's looking, looking, looking. He's going to gun the ball down the field. He's got a man down there. That's Taysen Starr. Starr breaks a tackle, and he's all the way down to right around the 38-yard line. That time, Taysen Starr lining up uh, on the left side of the formation, found an opening from the slot, and a nice gain there for the Shamrocks. That's 33-yard gain. Taysen Starr. Not only does he run the ball well, he catches it well. Coming up on two minutes left here in the first quarter. Casey Carpenter, the quarterback, up under center this time. Snap, the give. That is 26, Trey Tolliver. Pick and up around five. And there is a flag down. And I think it's going to be on Barnesville. That looks like holding. Let's see. Holding. Yep. So that'll cost the Shamrocks 10 yards. It'll bring up a first down, 20 to go for Barnesville. They've got to get all the way down to the 28-yard line. Football was placed on the hash, Shenandoah 48. That will be a the second penalty of the game. They also had a offsides a little bit ago. First down, so Carpenter up under center again. Taysen Starr is the tailback. Ah, a little bit of movement. Carpenter not happy. Nope, that's on the offensive line again of Barnesville. You know, you talked about this. Two starters are out for the Shamrocks, and they really haven't missed a beat. Have they? No, no, and you know, considering one is a freshman that's in there, Christian Hannes, the other one Blake Kirk, so they're they're doing pretty well. Carpenter, the quarterback, up under center again. 
first and 25. This time they give to Starr. He's got another big hole. He's going to pick up. It's a nice gain on the play for Taysen Starr. Looks like that's going to be about an eight or nine yard play. There is a young man from Shenandoah that's not getting up. And now he's up. We'll see. I think they've already blown the whistle, so he will have to go out. It's like uh, 77, Kyle Wheeler. And he might have had a cramp. I'm not sure. I saw him sort of trying yeah, to stretch his calf. It looks like a cramp. Yeah, he's going to come out. That is Wheeler. And he's coming out under his own steam. Always a good sign. Yes, I, I think it was a cramp just the way he come out. And first thing he did was grab his toes and pull them back towards him. That's usually a calf cramp or hamstring cramp. Charlie Horse, whatever you want to call it. All right. 104 clock rolling here in the first quarter. Shamrocks come out. Play clock down to 13. Under a minute to go now. Carpenter, the quarterback, up under center. This is second down, right around 14 to go. Carpenter guns it out. He's got a man out there. That is uh, number eight. That's Luke Detling with a nice catch. Detling's going to take it to right around the 34, 35-yard line, I'd say. It'll be third down and looks like seven to go for the Rocks. And that'll be a seven-yard catch. Excuse me. This is, this is doable here for Barnesville. Nice to keep in mind it was uh, first and 25 for them just a minute ago. Carpenter, the quarterback, in shotgun formation this time. The snap, he's back. He's looking, looking, looking. Guns the ball. He's got him. Ah, Taysen Star overthrew Star, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Star was open. Didn't have a whole lot of room, but uh, you know, you get him the ball in space, you never know what's going to happen, Brownie. Right. The way that looked, I think if he had been able to catch it, his momentum may have taken him out of bounds, but you never know. And that was un unusual to see Casey Carpenter throw the ball high like that. Fourth down, I think this is probably, oh, they'll go, they're, for, they'll go yeah. for this, no doubt about it. 14-0 Barnesville, 38 seconds left in the first quarter. Carpenter, the quarterback, with a snap. Throwback, and the Zeps are all over it. There are flags down on the play. Let's see. If this is against Barnesville, it will be declined, I'm thinking. Yeah, holding call. And that will be declined. That'll turn the ball over on downs once again. So that is the second time tonight that the Zeps have held and uh, turned the ball over on downs. Good job by the Shenandoah defense. Except for two plays tonight, uh, Mark, this has uh, been a fairly even football game. Yeah, well, Barnesville had a couple penalties there that really hurt them. And then Barnesville's had a couple games this year. They've had a lot of penalties. In other games, they've hardly had any, so. Yeah, and uh, looking on the sidelines. that's Wheeler. That's Wheeler, 77. Yep. He looks like he's going to be okay. They're just having him stretch a little bit. and Walking on the sidelines now. Looks like with the trainer. Zepp's offense coming out onto the field right now. Brendan Portman is the quarterback. Kyle Wheeler, a big young man, 6'5", 300 pounds, and he's a junior. Portman in the shotgun formation for the Zeps. Barnesville has a 14-0 lead, just 34 seconds left here in the first quarter. The snap, Portman straight ahead and not finding a whole lot of room. Again, he may... He may be, may be a yard at the most. We'll see. We'll, we'll give him a yard. And that is exactly where they're going to mark it. It's going to be hard to find a lot of holes in that Barnesville defensive line. They are just awfully stout up there, Mark. I mean, they're tough. Portman has carried the ball tonight 10 times already, but for only 17 yards. And that's the end of the quarter. All right, the score, it's Barnesville 14, Shenandoah nothing. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this. 
It's time to say goodbye to summer and hello fall with the new DQ Fall Blizzard and Shake menu. There's the always festive pumpkin pie, tasty new caramel fudge cheesecake, and more delicious fall flavors than ever right now on the DQ Fall Blizzard and Shake menu. If you're craving fall, you can find it at Barnesville DQ, 402 East Main Street, where happy tastes good. DQ would like to wish the Shamrocks a great season. Go Rocks! Welcome back. We're at Shenandoah High School. Bill Kastler, Mark Brown getting ready for the start of the second quarter here. Barnesville dominating the first quarter, running the football. They're up 14-0, Mark. Yes, uh, two touchdowns by Tayson Starr for the Shamrocks. He's carried it four times tonight for 122 yards. He has a 54-yard and 48-yard touchdown run. And I'll tell you what, first time he touched the football, he took off and uh, he's you, also he, got a 33 yard catch. He wasn't touched. Uh, here's a little bit of news right here. Uh, Union local Jets up on the Bel Air Big Reds, 13 nothing already, second quarter. And that's who Barnesville will play next week at Union local. Milk jug, right? Yes. I think, got it, <laughs> so, got done that, been, been there, done that one. Yeah. And that will be here, it will not be on TV, but it will be on WBNV radio. Jeff Stevens and I will have that one. Ah, yeah. And any playoff games beyond that. And Barnesville definitely is already in the playoffs. Most likely will host the first round. You know, we were looking at that, and uh, you know who number 12 is now is Barnesville's number five? Union Local. Yes. They started <laughs> the playoffs today. They'd play the Jets. Don't think that's going to uh, hold out. Though. Probably not, no. All right, Portman, the quarterback, second down, nine to go. Start of the second quarter here. Here is uh, number 28 uh, for the uh, Zeps. That is Landon Lively. Not a lot of room there, but flags all over the place. There's, I think, a hold. That's going to be on uh, Shenandoah. Shenandoah. I wonder if they, uh, they take that. They should take that here. I would imagine, yes. And that's the second penalty on Shenandoah. They also had a 15-yard uh, late hit penalty earlier in the game. That was on a uh, punt, I believe. Yes. Duker Costello was headed out of bounds, and one of the Zep players hit him. And uh, good call, but uh, didn't look like there was any intent there. Straight ahead, Portman picks up right around four. And I think that's going to be third down, 15 to go now for the Zeps. So, Coach Lowry's probably going to have to look into his bag of tricks or call a pass play here. I don't think Portman. Portman's thrown two passes, hasn't connected on one yet. Ooh, motion by the Zeps. Eli Messenger just checked in for Barnesville, replacing Alan Craker. At that, that linebacker. I think that was Lively, 28, who moved on the outside. So that'll cost the Zeps five. It's third down and 20 now. You know that uh, defensive line is just going to put back their ears and rush <laughs> now. Portman, the quarterback. The snap. Back. Looking, looking. Tucking the ball under, and he's not going to pick up anything. That will be Heinz Ford on the tackle. Nice job there by Ford. You say Heinz Ford, I think Heinz Ward every time. I'm <laughs> sorry. It just, it's what comes up. Well, it's his dad's last name and his, his mother's former last name, Heinz. So Monroe will punt. Devold. To punt for the Zeps. Here's the kick. Little low floater, hits one of the up men for Barnesville, picked up the 30, the 20, the 10, touchdown. That's Camden Carpenter. Camden Carpenter is speedy. I want to tell you what happened there. That kind of went off the side of Duvald's foot. It hit Carpenter and it bounced right up into his hands and he was looking downfield with nobody in front of him. Yep, and he gets a not sure what they're going to count that as. I'd say about maybe a 30-yard or so touchdown. Not sure exactly where he got possession of the ball. That was a gift, I'll tell yes. you that right now. That's what that was. 
I've never seen that before. Usually when it hits your guy and he's not expecting it, he's back trying to get ready to block, bad things happen. But this time, it was, it was all positive. All right, Lowry to try for the extra point for the Shamrocks. 20-0 Barnesville. Kick is up, and it's good. 10-28 left in the second quarter. The score, Barnesville 21, Shenandoah nothing. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this. Hey, football fans, laborers, Local 530 in Zanesville, Ohio, is cheering on all the local high school teams this year. Serving Muskingum, Perry, Noble, and Guernsey counties, Local 530 represents around 400 skilled men and women in the building and construction trades. They work with over 100 signatory contractors, providing committed and experienced laborers for building, heavy highway, and pipeline construction. For more information, give them a call at 740-453-1214. Good luck to all the teams from Laborers Local 530. Did you know WVU Medicine Barnesville Hospital provides a variety of inpatient and outpatient surgical care close to home? Barnesville Hospital offers the following specialties. Endoscopic procedures, foot surgery, gastrointestinal surgery, and general surgery. Let country roads lead you home to WVU Medicine Barnesville Hospital for all your surgical needs. To learn more about your surgical options, please visit wvumedicine.org forward slash Barnesville. Don't Ford kickoff by the Rocks. They're up 21-0. That's going to skip out of bounds and give the Zeps some good field position. Well, I got a moment here. I want to correct myself. I've been seeing Alan Craker. I apologize. That's his brother. And uh, it is Logan Craker. I will not try, try not to make that mistake again. All right. I've got the ruler auto hit you in the knuckles. <laughs> How's that? Not like I haven't done that before. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. And thank you, Leah, for catching that. 10:28 left here in the second. Rocks. Uh, they, well, we know one what? person's listening to us. They, yeah, I know they. <laughs> they look so solid, though. I mean, yes. they, they are just they are a complete football team. I, it just stuns me every time I watch them that they're not ranked. But as we said, yeah. that's strength of schedule. And there's there's a lot of good teams out there. You know, a win against River usually a couple of years ago that had been pretty big. Not the, you know, Pilot's not quite as good. Whoa. This lively cut down in the backfield. That's Taysen Star. There's that, is that Taysen Star. Uh, now? Is that Star? Yeah, I think it was. Number yes, one. Yes, it was. You're right. Okay. I, it looked uh, like it was loss, crinkled up. Loss of four on the play, Taysen Star. And I believe that was Lively, correct? Yeah, that was Landon yeah. Lively. And it was an ankle tackle. Yes, he got through there, broke through from his linebacker position and just caught him at the ankle. Good job there by Taysen Starr. He's doing everything tonight. Got two long touchdown runs and just made that play. All right, Portman, the quarterback, trying the right side, and man, the Rocks, they pursue well, too. Yes. I mean, you, you, they're not just big, they're fast. <laughs> they get to, get to the outside. That may be a gain of one on the play by Portman. And that was um, Logan Craker making that tackle. And we will give him one yard on that. Portman, he's carried the ball 13 times now. And we understood we might be seeing somebody else at quarterback tonight, a freshman. Yeah. Uh, Portman, usually a wide receiver, but with the injury to the quarterback from Shenandoah, uh, they are trying him there tonight. And da yeah, Davin Kunkel's a freshman. Now, you got to keep in mind that their quarterback, uh, number two Braxton Barnett, is a sophomore. Right. So, right. you know, if you've got an athlete, number 16, he's a freshman, you might want to, ooh, ah, somebody jumped somewhere. Never did hear a whistle, though. Timeout. Uh, timeout, okay. Yeah. That's why we didn't hear the whistle. Well, Barnesville, again, everything that they have been advertised to be. And uh, the only disappointing thing... Uh, for me about uh, the Zeps has been, I, I watched some, some of the games that we've had on file, um, watching them on the computer, and, you know, I'm watching the quarterback, number two, Braxton Barnett. He's a good one. Yes, he is. He, he, could, he got a great arm, and uh, could, he ran the ball quite a bit. Very effective athlete. Uh, big part of the Zeps attack. 6-1. Uh, so he can, yeah. See him on the sidelines down here. He is just out of commission for the rest of the year with an injured thumb. And uh, uh, I think, I don't know if I mentioned or not, he was an All-State 
300 meter hurdler in track last year as a freshman and that's a tough race you usually don't see freshmen place in the state in that event and he was uh, fourth or fifth I believe last year in the state now and also about a six foot high jumper so he's a good athlete well Shenandoah fans have a couple more years to see him two yeah barring injuries <laughs> Nine minutes to go here in the second quarter. Zepps with the football. Third down, 12. Portman back. He's going to run down. Uh, Duker Costello, and uh, that is, again, number 500, Yates. You know, Yates, I've, when I watched him, you know, between Barnett and Yates, Yates is an outstanding receiver, but Duker Costello has covered him like a blanket tonight. Yes. It just, there just hasn't been any room. No, and I've not seen, a, you know, and I've, there'll probably be some good ones coming down the road in the playoffs, but... There's not been a receiver I've seen yet this year that uh, Duker and Luke Detling can't stay with. I watched uh, the Caldwell game. Redskins have some good receivers. Again, great job by Costello and the rest of that secondary for Barnesville. Barnesville predominantly up this. Oh, here's yeah. a fake punt. That's going to work. Duvall looking for some room. He's got the first down. He's all the way out to midfield. That was a cold play. I think the Rocks were yep. headed back to uh, cover for the return and... Uh, they kind of got caught that time. 16-yard run. Yeah, that's uh, number 23, Tate Duvall, with a good run. And that's going to give the Zepps a Caldwell Lumber first down. So, a little trickery there, and it pays off for Shenandoah. Good for them. Well, they're working. Yeah. And you can see why they've been in just about every football game this year. A little jet sweep, and again. Taste and star. <laughs> yeah, nice job, and that's lively. Again, they've, they've tried that. It worked one time. They, it clicked once for 17 yards. Hasn't clicked since that time. Now, in the last two times they've tried that, Taste and star has gotten through there and tackling by the ankle both times for a loss. Eight minutes left here in the first half now. Barnesville was up 21 to nothing. Portman, the quarterback, in shotgun formation. The snap. Portman's going to try the left side this time. Barnesville, good job. Although a decent gain that time by Portman. He's going to pick up right around six on the play. That'll bring up a third down right around four to go for the Zepps. They're in Barnesville territory. Actually, they're going to mark him out a little bit before that. That'll be Heinz Ford and Logan Craker. Two sophomores on that tackle. Boy, that's something else. Barnesville is not exactly what I would call senior late. <laughs> no, the two uh, defensive backs and receivers, and um, of course, Tace and Starr. But Quarter they've got people to replace them. Quarterback is, uh, yeah, is uh, junior. Yes. So straight ahead, and ooh. It's going to be close to a first down. Really close. And, and now, I, they, should, they, they should go for this, I think. Yep, it is a first down. Um, I'm not sure. That was Portman, I think. That was number eight. That was Portman. Straight ahead run by Portman. And they're going to give it to him. That's yes. a Caldwell Lumber first down. So 726. And again, the Zepps are in Shamrock territory. Portman with the snap straight ahead. And find some room. This time cutting it up. And he's going to take it down to right around the 20-yard line. That's a big gain for Shenandoah. Zepps now inside the 20. Coming up on seven minutes left here in the first half. And it's 21-0 Barnesville. But Shenandoah is threatening now, Mark. Now I'm trying to see. Uh, I'm losing track to that. I believe that was Portman, correct? It was. Yes. Okay. So that's a 20-yard gain. That's his biggest run of the night. Yes. I'm looking at your chart right here. It's very convenient. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Portman, the quarterback in shotgun formation. Yep. Got an encroachment on Barnesville. So that's going to cost, gonna cost, that's gonna yeah, cost five. the Shamrocks five. And in the red zone, that's pretty big. So it'll be first and five now. That's going to put the ball just inside the Barnesville 15-yard line. This will change the complexion of the game if uh, Shenandoah can get across for six. 
Shotgun formation. Portman. Straight ahead and nothing doing. You know, it, it almost, the way they're all packed inside with maybe one receiver to the, it looks kind of like single wing football now, doesn't it? Yes, it does. That was again Heinz Ford on that tackle. Now you gave him a gain of about two to Portman. Second down and three now for the Zeps. They look to the sidelines. Coach Josh Lowry and his staff signaling in the play. Portman in the shotgun formation. Under six minutes left now here in the first half. Straight ahead, Portman. And no room that time. In fact, a lot of white jerseys around him. Marshall Meade just grabbed him from behind and just pulled him back. Yeah, and it seems like where Meade is, number 62, Braden Butler, is uh, usually not too far behind either. Yeah. He was in on that play as well. So third, third, third and down two. Three. This is third, three, okay. third and three. I, this is a big play, Mark. Yes. Big, big play right here. The snap. Portman's got it. He's going to lob it out there. He's got a man. That is number three. I think that's close to a touchdown. If it's not in, that's Wes Miley. And let's see where they mark it. No score, nope, but it's, 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 it's going to be first and goal for the Zeps. Be about on the one-yard line. This has been a nice drive by Shenandoah, and I'll tell you what, it's been gritty. And Miley, that, um, that's his first catch. I think that's, that's the first, first catch of the game yes. for anybody. For Good job by Portman to get the ball out there. Miley snapped that ball in. Barnesville was right on him. Here's straight ahead, Portman. And let's see, they're saying touchdown, and the officials agree. How about that? 4.50 left here in the second quarter. Zepps are on the board, 21-6 now. That does change the complexion of the game, doesn't it, Mark? Yes, it does. I'm sure it gives uh, Shando a little bit of confidence that they know that they can move the ball. Miley, the holder, and, and you know, a good thing here, and he's, uh, Savannah Irvin is the kicker for the Zepps. Oh, I think somebody was offside. Duker Costello just offside, just a bit. Savannah, one of the few female football players you'll see in the area. She is a kicker, a senior. And let's see who it's on, what they're going to do here. Now they're going to move the ball back. I believe, but that must have been on Shenandoah. No, they moved it up. It's, oh, it, was, okay. it, was on, it was on bar. It was Duker, they, Duker Costello was offside okay. by a mile. <laughs> well, I thought maybe he got drawn, but yeah, with the ball being moved up now into about the one yard they're, line. They're going to go for, go for go two. For two why, right? why not? Hey, yeah. why not? 21 6, 450 here left in the first half. Shenandoah punching the ball in. First score of the night for the Zeps. Portman up under center this time. The snap, the give, and oh, wow. The Barnesville defense is right there. No good. 4.50 left in the second quarter. The score, Barnesville 21, Shenandoah 6. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this. What was, how long was that run to? I was sitting in my car, and it wouldn't start. I lifted the hood, and the engine was falling apart. What would I do? My eyes filled with tears. Then on the radio, I heard of West 40 by pay here. Where for a little money down, and a little each week, I could have a car, nice, shiny, and sleek. So I walked in the door, and I put the money down. Now I got a nice car that I can drive around. West 40 by pay here will help rebuild your credit. The corner of Dewey and Route 40 in Cambridge, don't you forget it. West 40 Auto Sales, corner of Route 40 and Dewey Avenue in Cambridge, is home of a guaranteed credit approval, with most loans approved while you wait. Go to their website to fill out an online loan application, west40autosales.com. You'll also find their weekly special listed there. We're back. Zepp's getting ready to kick off. Wes Miley caught a key pass in that drive. We'll do the kicking for the Zepps, who are down 21-6 now. Nice drive by Shenandoah. Low line drive kick. 
It's going to be, be Detling. Up. Yeah, Detling's got it. And spinning. He's got a he's got a lane, the 50, the 40, the 30. He's got no one ahead of him. He's going to score. Touchdown, Shamrocks. No flags anywhere. How about that? 84 yards. Luke Detling with the answer. Man. Now that was quick. Yeah, I think it was more like 64. Oh, but was it? Okay. Yeah, I, he picked it up, but a low line drive kick. That's right, it was. Yeah, yeah right. low yeah. line drive kick. I think it was 64 yards, but Luke Detling, and he beat one man, and all of a sudden it was just nothing yeah. but green fields in front of him. Well, somebody hit him there, and he sort of bounced off and uh, twisted around it, and then, like you said, nobody there. That, so, you know, a speedster. Luke, and that's the second special teams play of the night for the Shamrocks. And the kick is up, and it's good. So, for 38 left here in the first half, the score now. Barnesville 28, Shenandoah 6. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this. Did you know WVU Medicine Barnesville Hospital provides a variety of inpatient and outpatient surgical care close to home? Barnesville Hospital offers the following specialties. Endoscopic procedures, foot surgery, gastrointestinal surgery, and general surgery. Let country roads lead you home to WVU Medicine Barnesville Hospital for all your surgical needs. To learn more about your surgical options, please visit wvumedicine.org forward slash Barnesville. People's Bank's vision is to be the best community bank in America. People's Bank provides local, hometown relationship-based banking with 132 full-service branches for all of your financial needs. As your community bank, People's Bank strives to make our communities a better place to live, work, and play. We would love a chance to earn your business. People's Bank. Working together. Building success. Member FDIC. And we are back. The Doan Ford kickoff by the Rocks goes out of bounds. So that'll give the Zeps some good starting field position. But boy, just when you thought Shenandoah had uh, made it into kind of a football game here, um, big kickoff return by Luke Detling. Second big play by Barnesville special teams tonight. They're up 28 to 6, Mark. Yes. That was a. First time that Lowe, uh, Evan Lowe did not squib kick it. He kicked it off. It hit well inside, but took a bad bounce and bounced right out of bounds for a penalty. All right, Zepps come out looking to see if uh, they can manufacture another. They've got four minutes and 38 seconds left here in the first half. Last time they had the football, they did a nice job. but they, It was a gritty drive, but uh, they got a touchdown out of it. Portman in the shotgun formation straight ahead and going to pick up right around two on the play. Boy, Portman, he's, uh, he's going to be taking the ice bath tonight. He's, uh, <laughs> that was Colby he's, Jones on that tackle. He's taking some hits tonight. They've run right up into the middle of the line a number of times. Uh, he has carried the ball. 20 times now in this game. Oh my, that's a, that's a game for a lot of people. Brendan Portman, the quarterback, the snap, the give. That is uh, lively and true. That's gonna, Logan, gonna, Logan Craker. He's going to lose another two. That's lively uh, with the football. No, that was, excuse me, that was, was that 24? Yes. Aiden McPeak. Yes. That's my mistake, my fault. Lively is 28. McPeak with the football. That's his first carry, I think. A loss of one on the play. Craker again in there, creating havoc in the backfield. The snap. Portman's got it. He's going to throw again. They're trying it deep again, and that is uh, that's that same matchup that we have been talking about all night long. That is number five, Hunter Yates, the best receiver for the Zeps. And number seven, Duker Costello. And Costello has had his number tonight. Actually, he's getting up. He's up quick. Yeah, he's, he's, he's holding he's, his back a little bit. Yeah, he is. He's, he's, he, he's going to go back to uh, take the punt. Look at this. <laughs> Here's the kick. That's yeah, going to be short. 
Yeah, just more check. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna take, gonna take a uh, Barnesville bounce. Checked up there, and Miley was right down there to pick that up. So it'll be first and ten for the Shamrocks. Three twenty left here in the first half. Twenty-eight to six, Barnesville with the lead. Two long touchdown runs by Taste and Star, and two plays on special teams by the Rocks have given them this big lead. So Barnesville with the ball on their own, 44, first Carp and 10. Excuse me, Carpenter this time in shotgun formation. Twins right, twins left, the snap. The be, give. Surprise Carpenter, I think, and they're still going to pick five up on it. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> Trey Tulliver. Let's see. Yes, Trey Tulliver with that carry. As I mentioned before, he's a freshman. Right out there again. That was uh, leading the way, 62, Braden Butler. So he and uh, Marshall Meade, oh, they're horses. <laughs> Running back's best friend. Snap, Carpenter throws the ball out to the sideline. That's Detling. Detling is gonna, he's gonna be knocked forward for a couple yards. And they're gonna mark him right around the Shenandoah 46. That's close to a first down, not quite there. Third down, one to go for the Rocks. 2.44, clock stopped here. Third and just a, a matter of inches for Barnesville. Boy. A lot of things you can do here. Shotgun formation. And it looks like... Timeout? That's what I was wondering to see. Well, I'm not sure what it was. Officials talking it over. Well, Coach Blake Allen way out on the field calling his team over. Oh, it's a, they're going to measure it. Okay. Uh, okay. He, and maybe he asked for a yes, measurement. Yes, probably did. I, I, I don't think he made it, but um, this could be uh, a good thought here by uh, Coach Allen. Uh, you know, I bring the team over and talk to him about uh, what we want to do here. It is close enough for a measurement, I think. Let's see. Just, oh, they're going to say tip of a football. Yep, just you yeah. can see the official there, the referee. Forefinger and thumb just a couple inches apart, so that's what it is. So Barnesville with really two opportunities to get a couple inches. And I'm sure that they'll use both downs, barring a penalty probably. Coach Allen still talking with his team on the sidelines. Not sure what the rule is on that, is how much time you get. I would think as soon as the officials take it back over, you should be out there ready to go. Ooh. Power eye formation for Barnesville. Oh, and uh, yeah, the, the fullback, yeah, that's, uh, oh, that hurts. <laughs> Boy, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> that's Trey Tolliver. Now, when I was in high school, we had a, the eye formation. Power Eye had the wing back off to the one side. Right. Yeah, we, we used to call that superpower when you'd have three three, three backs okay. all lined up. I, you know, different terminologies, different, different schools. Right. Different schools use different ter terminologies. Power Eye was always the wing back to the one side of the fullback and the tailback behind the two. There's a term you don't hear much anymore. Tailback. That or wing back. Or wing back, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's what I was in high school. Yeah. It was a wing back. So, yeah. The snap. Ooh, Carpenter took a hit. You can hear it up here. He got the pass out there complete. Run out of bounds. Carpenter still down. He got tagged. Well, it looked like he just, whoever was there, just rung him around the neck. Yeah. But the official right there saw it and didn't call anything. And that is a first down. Yeah, that, that's a Caldwell Lumber first down. And but yeah. uh, Morgan, I'm not even sure who made the catch. Was I'm that, not was either. That, was that Detling over there that made that? I'm, <laughs> I was I, watching I, Heinz Ford to see if he was okay and didn't catch who caught it. It was, uh, let's see. Uh, I, think, I think it was Detling. I, okay. I think. I'm not, don't quote me on that. I think it was Detling. That's a 14-yard catch, whoever it was. We'll, we'll give it to Detling and circle it just in case. We find out later. There's the snap. The give straight ahead. Nice run. That's, that is uh, Trey Tolliver. 
and he's going to fight his fight his way forward, gain of about six on the play. 2:04 left in the second quarter. 28-6 Barnesville. Tulliver now 11 yards on three carries. You know, Tace and Star will be gone. Well, if you're going to have Tolliver. He's going to step right. right into it. Yep. One forty-one left in the first half. Carpenter in the shotgun formation. The snap. Carpenter back. Lofts it up there. Ah! Did he make that catch? Yes. That's a touchdown. What a catch. I, who made that? Was that Detling? I believe so. I've got the binoculars here waiting for him to turn. Yes, that was Detling. Luke Detling. And that's his second touchdown of the evening. That's going to make it 34-6. to six. And wow. You know, Zepps drive down the field. They score a touchdown. It's 21-6. And we're all thinking, oh, could be a football game. Barnesville has an answer for that. 34 to 6. Nice throw by Carpenter. They're going to go for two points to try to get this a 30 point lead to get their clock running in the second half. Snap the give straight ahead. Yep, he's not going to uh, get it. Oh, yeah, and a good job there by the Zepps defense. So the run fails. 128 left here in the second quarter. The score Barnesville 34, Shenandoah 6. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this. Just like on the field, we believe in teamwork with our customers. This is Ashley Rich from the Farmers and Merchants Bank on the Square in Colwell. With our services, you can bank from your home, the office, or even at the stadium. You can sit back and enjoy the game knowing your money is in great hands. Good luck to all the local teams this year from everyone at the Farmers and Merchants Bank. Member FDIC. Everyone's looking for an encouraging sign in today's economy. The fact is, you'll find one right here in Caldwell at State Farm Sue Snow's office. Because State Farm agents like Sue have been here helping people protect the things that matter most. That's why more people trust State Farm, and they consider that a very good sign. See State Farm agent Sue Snow at 400 East Street, Caldwell. Sue Snow State Farm is a proud supporter of high school sports. We're back, Shenandoah High School. Doan Ford kickoff fielded by Hunter Yates. Finally getting his hands on the football. Going to take it out to the 36-yard line. Tell you what, he's one of the best athletes on the uh, Shenandoah football team. They haven't been able to get him the ball tonight, Mark. Yep. They, they have not been able to get him the ball. Duker Costello has shut him down as far as catching passes goes. And like I said, he's exciting when he touches the ball. And that was a nice tackle there by Bodie Carpenter. Another another Carpenter? Yes, another one. Okay, you got Casey, Cam, and Bodie. It, right. would, it wouldn't be a Barnesville roster without a few Carpenters. Right. And there's also a Colt Carpenter on the team. I think there's four or five of them. Oh, uh, Evan Carpenter, too. Yes. Hmm. Butler on the field a little late. The snap. Portman. Fake, he's going to gun it down the middle there. Oh, Costello, and that is number five right there for the Zeps. Uh, that is Hunter Yates, and again, the pass a little bit behind him. Yates fielded yeah, that can, kickoff. You can just tell, I mean, you know, he's trying, but Portman's just not... It's not, I mean, he's not played quarterback yeah. enough to be comfortable. He doesn't throw the ball at this the time he's not there. Well, and here's the other thing to think about. Portman is one of their best receivers, right, too. Right, exactly. That's what and, I said. He's and, never and been and a quarterback. And he runs the ball, and here he is. It's like you're the quarterback. It's either you or the freshman. So they're going to put the uh, more experienced player in there. Straight ahead, Portman. That's Taysen Starr on that tackle. Portman, Portman, maybe a yard. Portman is a senior. Boy, his brother was a good ball player. Took uh, Shenandoah to the playoffs one year. Okay. Uh, he was a good. He was a good running back. Well, he was having a really. Uh, him and Yates both having outstanding seasons as receivers. Of course, with the great quarterback, 
But when you don't have anybody to throw it to you. Well, and that's the other thing. Barnett might have been their top ground gainer this year, too. They ran the ball quite a bit with him in there. As you said, he, he can run. He's fast. Yeah. State, what did you say, near, he was a uh, top four or five yeah, in, in, in the, the hurdles in the, the state? Right in the 300 hurdles. Boy. And that, that just says athlete. Right. Because that is one of the more difficult events in track. And he's a, he's a young, he's got some size, too. He's, he's tall. Yeah, they've got him listed 6'1". And uh, just really looking forward to seeing him tonight, 170 pounds. It's a shame, but that's yeah, football. And, and like I said, every time I watched, you know, I'm, I'm watching all this video and I'm thinking, oh, this kid can play. And the first thing I got done, and I guess that the injury took place last week, I think. I believe. Just two games left in the year. Uh, the, the good thing is Barnett will be back next year for the Zeps. Portman, the quarterback. Snap. Portman takes it around and the right side, and he's got a nice gain to right around the 42. That's going to be short of the first down, though. And that's going to bring up a uh, punting situation, and I think that uh, we'll probably see the punter here. That's uh, number 23, Tate DeVault. Let's we'll see, if they see go though, for they're it. still looking over to the sideline. Maybe they think they can hold Barnesville if they don't get here, the first here down. Here he comes. Here he comes. There he is. Okay. Yeah, here he comes. And I think that Coach Lowry, a little gamesmanship there, holding him out. So nobody deep for Barnesville. Not Maybe at this time. Maybe they think he's going to fake it again or they, something. We'll they, see. They may. He did last time and successfully. Here's the. Oh, that's, uh, that's a little pooch punt. He's got a, goes off the side of his foot and it's going to be a short punt. Mark it out of bounds right around the 35-yard line. Under a minute to go here. 59 seconds. 34 to six, Barnesville. And what you you notice there, Barnesville's been getting good pressure on the punter. They've had uh, uh, several guys get through there, and he's really having to rush it. A couple have been close to getting hit. So, yeah, but the Rocks did get burned once. They set it, tried right. to set up a return, and he just took off. 18 yard gain, first down, Zeps. All right. Quarterback, Casey Carpenter, back, looking. He's got a man out there. That's Detling. Okay, he's got it for a first down, out of bounds, right around the Barnesville 48-yard line. 55 seconds left. That's a Caldwell Lumber first down for the Rocks. And I'll tell you what, they're going to maybe try this to score or at least get the ball in field goal position and go for the stop the clock at the out of bounds place. Well a pass play on first down is usually a pretty good indicator. You've got 55 seconds left and you think oh off sides and that was Detling. He's not happy. Yeah I think he's. He anticipated the snap quicker and uh, I think he anticipated is the, uh, the right term there. Yes <laughs> he was he, I think yeah, I just got the snap count yeah, wrong. Got the snap count wrong. It it happens. Oh, you hate when that happens. <laughs> Carpenter in the shotgun. Snap. They're gonna throw it outside. Costello. Oh, nice catch and boy. Cutting in front of Duker Costello. That was number four, Colt Wheeler. But Wheeler, the ball went through his hands and a nice catch by Costello. Where are they gonna mark that? Right around. So that's about be, a 14-yard catch. It's going to be on the Shenandoah 45-yard line. And Costello basically toe-tapping on the sidelines to haul that one in. And actually, that's the first catch of the night for Costello. Detling has six catches. They haven't needed it a lot, to be honest with you. But they're going to try to pass this ball yeah. outside. and Trips right, one single, yeah. and, they're, and Carpenter's looking. Now he's in trouble. Now he gets away. The 40, the 35, and thrown down at the 30-yard line. Caldwell Lumber first down. Rocks looking for more. 39 seconds left. They'll move the chains, spot them, and start the clock. That's a 15-yard gain for Casey Carpenter, and Barnesville will call a timeout. So now the teams huddle up on the sidelines. Just 39 seconds left here, Mark, and K 
can't be too much doubt about this. They are going to go here. They're going to go for this. Looking to get that 30-point margin to get that running clock in the second half. And a couple of weeks ago, Evan Lowe did kick a 31-yard uh, field goal. Just one so, more. Just yeah. like like I said. What, <laughs> one more weapon. What What is it that they don't do? Yeah. That's what you really have to figure out. What is it that they don't do? Just and, no weaknesses. And here's the other thing. I don't know if you look at the Shamrocks football team and say that they've got a superstar. They really don't. They're a team. Yeah. Yeah, they've, a lot of players really contribute. you got to give Carpenter a lot of credit. He distributes the ball very, very well. Excellent play calling by Coach Allen and his staff. <laughs> and we'll try to get a uh, Union Local update here for you maybe before halftime. As uh, we mentioned, that's Barnesville's opponent next week. That'll be here on WBNV Radio only. You and uh, Jeff Stevens on the call. And the other big um, rivalry, another big one next week, This the Shenandoah Zeps at Caldwell. Noble County Super Bowl. Oh, Carpenter's not happy. Uh, another <laughs> player jumping off sides for Barnesville. Okay, we uh, is that halftime? That is a ha that is a halftime uh, score. Union local twenty to six over Bel Air. So and let's call that our Sue Snowed State Farm Insurance scoreboard update. Forty five yards now in penalties for Barnesdale, and at least three or four of those are the offensive linemen jumping off oh, sides. Oh, and Carpenter now and is he's hot again because it looks like they're not lined up right. Here's the snap. Carpenter looking, looking. The left hander throws it down the field. He's got a man down there. That is Luke Detling. Detling, does he make it out of bounds? Yes, I, I think he did. So they stopped the clock. And, oh, no, they didn't. They didn't stop the clock. Clock is rolling. Now they're saying stop the clock. Well, I could have sworn I saw the official make the motion to stop the clock. Maybe the uh, timer up here didn't see Maybe it. Maybe he didn't see it, yes. They're, they're probably going to put more time back on the clock. Yeah, all right, that's what happened. As I had the binoculars on, I'm sure it was hard to see up here. Without it was. Them, but there was a lot of activity yeah, there in the, the sidelines. The official on the far side motioning that the clock had stopped. And, it, got was, and it was questionable as to, from our, our vantage point, did he make it out of bounds? But officials definitely did stop it. So they're going to set the clock at 26 seconds now. And that will give it second down, right around three to go. Rocks are all the way down to the Zepp's 23-yard line. Carpenter, the quarterback, in shotgun formation. The snap. Carpenter back, looking, looking. Guns it into the middle of the field. That is behind the intended receiver there for the Rocks. That's number two. That's Bodie Carpenter. And Casey Carpenter that time was off. He was, receiver was out in front, and he threw it over the back shoulder. And again, uh, you know, that's something we did mention that um, – McIntyre not playing tonight for the Shamrocks with a hamstring injury, and that is one of the weapons that uh, Barnesville has lost as end. a receiver, yes. But he, he goes out a lot, and now Flag. we have another penalty. Good grief. And the Shenandoah players are clapping. So what is this one? I that, Wow. Yeah, and that, that was one of the interior linemen. That's why the back judge threw it. And that cost him five, and that is third down now, right around eight to go. He's going to move the ball right back to the, it looks like the Zepp's 29-yard line. They're in four-down territory. The problem here, it's gonna be Brownie, 21.4 seconds right. left. That's 50 yards and penalties now. Yeah, it, you know, if Coach Allen has one thing to address, it's, yeah, yeah. that's it. Nine penalties and... All Car but one have been five yarders. Carpenter back looking. He's got some good protection. Now it breaks down. He's going to break out of the pocket. Yanked down from behind. Nice play there. That was number 58 or 59. Was that Jacob F Feldner? Yeah, 59. Jacob Feldner for the Zeps chasing down Casey Carpenter. Fourth down, 14.4 seconds left. Timeout on the field. Barnesville, they're going to go for it. They also give uh, Shandell credit there. They're getting some pressure on Carpenter, although, uh, you know, for the most part, the Barnesville line's done a good job. They are throwing deeper routes. They're trying to score here with the time about ready to run out, so it does take a little bit longer for those 
routes to set up, and Carpenter has to sit back there a little bit longer, and he, he was is getting some pressure. He was a step away. Car uh, Carpenter was a step away from breaking that. That was a that was an excellent play there by Feldner to chase him down. Yes. Okay, one more step, and he, he probably picks up 12, 14 yards. Right. At least he would have gotten the first down. That was definite. But regardless, it will bring up now a fourth and 11 for Barnesville. Um, 14 seconds to go in the first half. Barnesville is leading 34 to 6. Coach Allen now on the sidelines talking things over with his football team. So you have to figure they're going to run a few people down into the end zone, try to get Carpenter enough time to throw the ball up. They've probably got two plays. First, they need to pick up a first down here. This is fourth down. So situation may dictate a pass to the sidelines. Timeout, Shenandoah. Again. All right, probably wanted to see what the formation. Yeah, let's see what the formation Barnes is. Barnesville had three receivers left and one right. So the chess match continues. I think if Coach Allen sees that on the sideline, he changes the play. Been a long 14 seconds, I'll say that. <laughs> been a long first half. Let's 34 see. to 6. Yeah, this has been an hour and 20 or hour and 20 minute first half. And they just announced a Caldwell score there, but I, I thought I heard him say Caldwell seven, but I didn't hear the other score. It'd be um, no, I've I've got it on score stream here. Nothing, nothing. Okay. So. Of course, sometimes those aren't updated. Not not quite as quickly. All right. So Barnesville coming back. On the field. This is a fourth down play. Fourth and 11 here. Carpenter, the quarterback, in shotgun formation. Twins left. Carpenter rolling. Now looking back. He's got a man out there. That's Taysen Starr. He's out of bounds. That's a great thing about Taysen yeah. Starr is not only can he run, he can catch. First down for the Shamrocks at the 14-yard line. They down the ball. Five seconds left. Well, they're pretty much going to have to put it in the end zone here. I don't think, well, hey, the, they might go for the field goal here. That That is, and I think that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Let's see. And it, they're in range yeah. now. Yeah, and Evan Carpenter, he has, well, let's see, what would this be? Let's see where he's going to put this. They're going to uh, spot it right around the 20, so it's going to be probably around a 31-yard attempt, yeah, I'd say. And he, and he made a 31-yarder a couple weeks ago. Well, Zepp's trying to rush. High, High snap, snap, it's yeah. up. It is, and that, he's got the distance. Yes, sir, that's good. Point nine seconds left, and that's going to make the score. Barnesville 37, Shenandoah 6, and... The Zeps did everything they could. Nice catch by Taysen Starr to set them up in field goal range. And, of course, the kick by number 21, Evan Lowe. And Lowe, a high snap. He was patient, waited for his holder to get the ball down, and drilled it. And with, that is, with room to spare. Yeah, a lot of room. And that's uh, he has 40 points now on the season between field goals and PATs. Like Something it. else we want to mention, I don't think we've said this, if Barnesville is able to hold on and get this win tonight, this will be their 25th consecutive regular season victory. Yeah, and the last time they lost was in the playoffs to Wheelersburg, right? Right, but this was regular season. So yes. 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 But uh, And that was to Shadyside uh, three or four years ago. So now what do you think of this 16 teams in the playoff? I don't like it. Neither do I. Yeah. I mean, you look at Division One. There's, they've I, got 17 teams in there. I, I like I like that. I liked it. Eight teams. Yes. Eight teams. I oh, here's a little a little squib kick. I like this. One of the upmen for the Rocks or the Zeps has it, and he's going to take it across midfield. No time left, and they bring him down. That uh, is going to do it. End of the first half of play. The score. And Barnesville 37, Shenandoah 6. And, and that was um, Jacob Feldner. 
give the young man yeah. credit. He scooped he, it up, I'll tell you what. He, he did, and he, and he was fighting for yards. Yeah, he, he bowled some people and carried a few with him. So good job, Jacob Feldner. Well, the Shamrocks have a big lead here at the half. Probably going to be looking at a running yes. clock when we come out here in the second half. A commanding lead. I think we're uh, going to take a break here for halftime. I think we'll check in with ONN. Yes. And uh, you'll add up some stats, and we will be back with more from Shenandoah High School right after this. Celebrating a decade of deliciousness, Patty's Place has been serving homestyle cooked meals since 2013. Indulge in their homemade pies daily and enjoy breakfast served all day long. They're open 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday and 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Sundays. Don't forget to check out their Facebook page for daily specials. Conveniently located between Bell Valley and Caldwell on State Route 821. Come on over and satisfy your cravings at Patty's Place. Hello, this is Brian Chandler from Chandler Monuments. Every monument tells a story, and every story deserves to be told. Stop in and let our staff at Chandler Monuments help you create a lasting memorial for your loved one. We are the largest, most affordable monument dealer in the area. Our outdoor showroom provides you with the best granite at the best pricing. Contact us today at Chandler Monuments, 740-732-1311, or visit us on the web at chandlermonuments.com. Creating enduring memories, Chandler Monuments. When a loved one dies, the remaining family members are oftentimes overcome with sadness, grief, confusion, and stress. If you are burdened with planning a funeral, let the experience and compassion of the McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home staff ease the difficult situation at hand. Ken and Robin Perkins will guide you through the process of making arrangements. Phone McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home of downtown Caldwell at 732-4223 or their web address is mcveigh-perkins.com. Are you looking to spruce things up in your home? At Boyd Precision Painting, they specialize in painting and refinishing kitchen cabinetry, bath vanities, trim doors, household furniture, and more. With years of experience and knowledge of the improvements in technology, they use the highest quality coatings to assure chemical and physical resistance and longevity. Give your home an updated look at an affordable price and call today for your free consultation, 740-581-BOYD. That's 740-581-2693. Serving Southeast Ohio and surrounding areas. Go Zeps! Three little words no parent wants to hear. My tummy hurts. And it always seems to happen at the worst times. Like in the middle of the morning rush, when you still have homework to check and lunches to pack, and of course, you're already late for work. Luckily, there's Pepto Kids. Pepto Kids gummies help relieve occasional stomach upsets, turning those three words into these three words. I feel better. Bad time for stomach upsets? Good time for Pepto Kids gummies. Fast support for little tummies. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Hi, this is Dr. Brad Schaefer. As a podiatrist, I can tell you no two people's feet are alike, which is why I recommend Dr. Scholl's Custom Fit Orthotic Inserts. They're customized for your feet, so you get a unique solution your feet really need, not just a one-size-fits-all insole. They're clinically proven to provide pain relief for achy feet, knees, lower back, plantar fasciitis, and heels. Take the Dr. Scholl's Custom Fit Orthotics Assessment in Walmart today, now in the foot care aisle. Now located at 16050 McConnellsville Road in Caldwell, Ohio, Patrons Buckeye Mutual Insurance Company is a mutual insurance company established in 1896 for the purpose of providing insurance coverage to rural Ohio. They offer a product to meet your insurance need, whether it's for a farm, rental dwelling, home in town, secondary or seasonal dwelling, churches or mobile home. They partner with Grinnell Mutual Insurance Company from Iowa to offer liability coverage to package with their Patrons Buckeye Mutual policy. Call today, 740-305-5121 and follow them on Facebook at Patrons Buckeye. People's Bank's vision is to be the best community bank in America. People's Bank provides local, hometown relationship-based banking with 132 full-service branches for all of your financial needs. As your community bank, People's Bank strives to make our communities a better place to live, work, and play. We would love a chance to earn your business. People's Bank. Working together. Building success. Member FDIC. Hi, I'm Morgan Vaughn with Leonard & Newland Real Estate Services. Are you looking for a new home or property to build your dream home on? I can help. Contact me, Morgan Vaughn, at 740-228-2825 or go to leonardandnewland.com and click on my name, Morgan Bond. We'll get you home. Good luck to all of the local football teams this season. 
When a loved one dies, the remaining family members are oftentimes overcome with sadness, grief, confusion, and stress. If you are burdened with planning a funeral, let the experience and compassion of the McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home staff ease the difficult situation at hand. Ken and Robin Perkins will guide you through the process of making arrangements. Phone McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home of downtown Caldwell at 732-4223 or their web address is mcveigh-perkins.com. High School Football from ABC Sports on WBNV, Barnesville, Woodsfield, 93 BNV. We are back at Shenandoah High School. Bill Kastler, Mark Brown, the Barnesville band on the field performing right now. And uh, they have to be in a good mood. The Shamrocks are up 37-6, to six, Mark Brown. Welcome to the McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home Halftime Report. And uh, great first half by the Shamrocks, Mark. They, uh, they dominated uh, offensively, defensively and special teams. Yeah, and when we give the stats here in a minute, some of that will show that. But uh, you gotta look, Barnesville scored a touchdown, uh, a couple of them rushing, a passing touchdown. They scored one on a punt return for a touchdown. Yeah, it's and one on a kickoff. Yeah, one of the yeah. most unusual punt returns I've ever seen. That was a Camden Carpenter. A ba the ball hit him in the back, and he turned around, and the ball checked up and bounced right up into his hands. And he had nothing in front of him except for green fields. Right. <laughs> Took it in for six. Uh, that was probably the most unusual play. But uh, overall, except for, as you mentioned, penalties, Shamrocks have dominated this football game. Yes, they have. And I'll give the stats here. Uh, first, I do want to uh, make a correction. We said we weren't sure. We thought Luke Detlin had caught that 14-yard pass earlier in the game. It was Duke or Costello, so... Um, that's a correction that we'll have in the stats. Let's go Shenandoah first. Uh, Brendan uh, Portman, the um, quarterback by default tonight, he has carried the ball 22 times for 63 yards, and he has the only touchdown for Shenandoah. So 22 carries, 63 yards. Uh, Landon Lively has five carries for 13 yards. Tate Duvall, one carry for 16. And McPeak, one carry for minus two. So add that all up, it is 90 yards rushing. Shando only has one pass completion, and that is um, that was to Weston West Miley. And down he, near the goal line. Yeah. It really was a key part of their yeah. touchdown drive. It was only three yards, but uh, it was what it was, and like we said, it helped with their touchdown. But anyway, 93 yards in offense tonight from the line of scrimmage. Uh, Shando has been penalized three times for 30 yards. Uh, also, Kunk, uh, Portman has thrown the ball five times and, as we said, completed one. All right, for Barnesville, Casey Carpenter. Uh, he has thrown the ball 14 times. He's completed nine. Two to Duker Costello for 28 yards. Luke Delling has caught six catches tonight, including a 34-yard touchdown. He has 82 yards in pass catching. And Taysen Starr, two catches for 45 yards. So add that up. 155 yards passing tonight for Shamrocks. Again, Casey Carpenter is four, or uh, check that, uh, nine of 19, or 14 passing. Taysen Starr tried one catch in a trick play and did not complete it. Uh, rushing tonight, Taysen Starr is the leading rusher in the game. He has only carried it four times, but he has 122 yards, yeah, wow. including a 54-yard touchdown run, the very first play of the game, mm -hmm. and then a 48-yard touchdown run, a, a go along with a 12 and an 8. That was the third time he touched the ball. Yes. So he, he's having a good night. <laughs> 122 yards rushing tonight for Taysen. Trey Tulliver, 11 yards on three carries, and Casey Carpenter, 12 yards on two carries. So for the Shamrocks, 145 yards rushing, 155 passing, 300 yards tonight from the line of scrimmage John officially. The problem is Barnesell has been penalized tonight nine times for 50 yards and about half of those are probably the offensive players jumping off sides. So that's something I'm sure will be addressed quite uh, yeah, verbally yeah, at halftime. Blake Allen will probably be talking yeah. to them about the penalties, but overall the performance has been outstanding. Let's recap that scoring, Brownie. Uh, Taysen Starr, as you said, 54-yard run to start the game off, 7-0 Barnesville. Then Taysen Starr, a 48-yard run. Uh, that's 6-17 left in the first quarter, 14-0 Barnesville. Then it was Cam Carpenter. 
That was a 34-yard punt return where it hit him in the back. He turned around, scooped the ball up, and just took it in for six. That's 21-0 Barnesville. Then it looked like the Zeps were going to make it a little bit of a game as they kind of, it was a gritty drive all the way down the field. Nice drive. Brendan Portman took it in from one yard out. Uh, they tried for the run after the uh, Shamrocks were penalized on uh, the first try for extra point. Uh, that made it 21-6. The run failed. Uh, then it was uh, right after that, Luke Detling, 64-yard touchdown return. 28-6, and I think that play right there is the one that broke Shenandoah's back because they had just scored. It looked like it was going to be a football game, and all of a sudden, <laughs> deadly yeah. down the field. Uh, and then from there, it was all Barnesville. Uh, it was uh, Casey Carpenter throwing a pass to Luke Detling. A uh, long pass um, was a touchdown pass. How long was that, 27 yards? To who? Uh, Detling? 34. 34 yards. Yes. Thank you. 34-yard pass. Carpenter to Detling. Th uh, it was 34-6. They went for two on the play, try to increase that lead to 30 points. They failed. Then on the last drive of the game, they got the ball down all right to right around the 20-yard uh, line, and it was uh, Evan Lau uh, kicking a 31-yard field goal. Great job by Lau, and uh, that's going to make it 37-6. to One more weapon that the Shamrocks have. Yes. Pretty impressive. 37-6 at the half, and it has been, except for that one drive by Shenandoah, all Shamrocks. So, well, just watching the Shenandoah band down here, I always get a kick out when you see kids that do more than one event. Um, the young lady that is the kicker for Shenandoah, the PAT kicker, uh, Kylie Wheeler, she's also down here marching in the band, so good for her. All right. Hey, let's uh, check some scores before we check out. This is our Sue Snowed State Farm scoreboard update. We've got quite a few to run past you. Uh, at the half, Toronto all over the Caldwell Redskins. Red Knights with a 34-7 lead. Buckeye Trail beating East Canton 24-7. It's Morgan beating Meadowbrook 55-6. Monroe Central having a nice game. They're bouncing back against Frontier. The Seminoles up 20 to nothing. And at the half, Union Local beating Bel Air 20-6. That is our Sue Snowed State Farm Insurance scoreboard update. Thanks to her. We'll thank all our sponsors. In the meantime... We're going to take a quick break. Uh, we will be back with more halftime activities right after this. I'm not buying till I check down Most of us are faced with uncertainty every day. Your job, your finances, sporting events, schooling for your children, and so much more. With so much uncertainty surrounding you, there's one auto dealership that you can be certain about, and that's Doan Ford. You can be certain that you'll always get a great deal and the best service afterwards. In business for nearly 60 years has given Doan Ford the reputation of being a strong, reliable dealership. Be certain. Choose Doan Ford online at DoanFord.com. Did you know WVU Medicine Barnesville Hospital provides a variety of inpatient and outpatient surgical care close to home? Barnesville Hospital offers the following specialties, endoscopic procedures, foot surgery, gastrointestinal surgery, and general surgery. Let country roads lead you home to WVU Medicine Barnesville Hospital for all your surgical needs. To learn more about your surgical options, please visit wvumedicine.org forward slash Barnesville. Discover excellence at Hissom Service Center and Towing on East Main Street, Barnesville. Family owned since 1974, they're your one-stop solution. Propane, full-service gas, on-off-road diesel, non-ethanol, they've got it all. Expert body shop with free estimates and service garage for oil changes, alignments, AC charging, brakes, and more. Proudly supporting Barnesville Shamrock athletes. Good luck this year. Go Rocks! Trust Hissom's for top-notch service and community spirit. Are you looking to spruce things up in your home? At Boyd Precision Painting, they specialize in painting and refinishing kitchen cabinetry, bath vanities, trim doors, household furniture, and more. With years of experience and knowledge of the improvements in technology, they use the highest quality coatings to assure chemical and physical resistance and longevity. Give your home an updated look at an affordable price and call today for your free consultation, 740-581-BOYD. That's 740-581-2693. Serving Southeast Ohio and surrounding areas. Go Zeps! 
Hey, football fans, laborers, Local 530 in Zanesville, Ohio, is cheering on all the local high school teams this year. Serving Muskingum, Perry, Noble, and Guernsey counties, Local 530 represents around 400 skilled men and women in the building and construction trades. They work with over 100 signatory contractors, providing committed and experienced laborers for building, heavy highway, and pipeline construction. For more information, give them a call at 740-453-1214. Good luck to all the teams from Laborers Local 530. It's time to say goodbye to summer and hello fall with the new DQ Fall Blizzard and Shake menu. There's the always festive pumpkin pie, tasty new caramel fudge cheesecake, and more delicious fall flavors than ever right now on the DQ Fall Blizzard and Shake menu. If you're craving fall, you can find it at Barnesville DQ, 402 East Main Street, where happy tastes good. DQ would like to wish the Shamrocks a great season. Go Rocks! Now located at 16050 McConnellsville Road in Caldwell, Ohio, Patrons Buckeye Mutual Insurance Company is a mutual insurance company established in 1896 for the purpose of providing insurance coverage to rural Ohio. They offer a product to meet your insurance need, whether it's for a farm, rental dwelling, home in town, secondary or seasonal dwelling, churches or mobile home. They partner with Grinnell Mutual Insurance Company from Iowa to offer liability coverage to package with their Patrons Buckeye Mutual policy. Call today, 740-305-5121 and follow them on Facebook at Patrons Buckeye. Everyone's looking for an encouraging sign in today's economy. The fact is, you'll find one right here in Caldwell at State Farm Sue Snow's office. Because State Farm agents like Sue have been here helping people protect the things that matter most. That's why more people trust State Farm, and they consider that a very good sign. See State Farm agent Sue Snowd at 400 East Street, Caldwell. Sue Snowd State Farm is a proud supporter of high school sports. High School Football from ABC Sports on WBNV, Barnesville, Woodsfield, 93 BNV. We're back at Shenandoah High School, Bill Kastler, Mark Brown, Shamrocks with a huge lead at the half, 37-6. Shenandoah Marching Band is on the field performing now. Boy, what do you say, Mark, about a football team uh, as complete uh, as the Shamrocks. And you, you you know we address this. Coach Allen is probably over there right now telling them they had too many penalties in the first half. But a big lead, and they've looked solid in every department. Right. Uh, you just you work on trying to eliminate the mistakes, and I'm sure there's a lot that you know we haven't noticed. And things uh, when you've got this many good athletes, you, uh, you know, there'll be mistakes made, and sometimes you don't even see them because the athletes will overcome those by making a good play or something. And I'm sure that's what happens a lot, but just very, very impressive. It's a, it's a good team. I, you know, I think the, the worry people might have is we'll see if the, you know, the lack of being tested much this year will hurt them in the playoffs. But um, you know, that's a couple weeks down the road. Still got this game to finish, and a, a Union local team that's not bad. They've been playing pretty well, uh, right. and you know they're they're putting it on Bel Air right now. So that uh, that's not a given, and that's at Union local next week. Well, and of and course it, that'll be here on BNV. The other thing is too, it, and th this doesn't hold true. You know, when it's a rivalry game, you, yes. you do kind of throw out the records. Right, right. Union and local is good enough. They're they're going to test Barnesville. Of course, you'll be there next yes. week. You and, and Jeff Stevens will be there on the call. And the Milk Jug, always a hotly contested game. And uh, you know, is, am I mistaken? Uh, is Union Local, they D4, they D5? I think they're, uh, they're the same as Barnes. They're, so they're, they're five. five. Yes. Okay. So, it, it, like I said, both schools uh, in the same area, same size. And, now, uh, they've got about almost 100 more kids than Barnesville does, but they're one of the bigger D5 schools, and Barnesville's just about the smallest D5 school in the state. You said they were almost there. Yeah, they, they, were, they were close to being Division Yeah, they've uh, been six the last few years, and yes. they went up, and, you know, the October count is what does that, the number of students you have in your school on October 1st. So those are turned into the state, and then they see they even them out. So, uh, you know, I think some people thinking there's a shot. Maybe Barnesville will go back down to six next year. We'll see. I think uh, you're listening to the McVeigh Perkins halftime report. Um, do you, do you think now in the second half does Coach Allen call off the dogs? Does he bring in some of his backups? Does well, what I've seen him do, you know, he'll probably play his starters for at least on defense and probably at least one more set on offense and see what happened. I, I imagine he'll want to keep that, uh, you know, that thirty-point lead if at all possible. So I think a lot of it will depend on 
what Shenandoah does, but I have no doubt we'll see the starters on defense here to start the second half. And, you know, he may play them a couple series and depend, again, on what happens. We'll, we'll wait and see. Well, you know, um, this, uh, like I said, this week and next week, uh, really amount for the Shamrocks to basically a tune-up for the upcoming playoffs. Now, if the playoffs were to start tomorrow, the way things are set up, uh, Barnesville would have the Union Local Jets. Again, and that will be at Barnesville. And um, that's going to be the final game, so that will probably mean that there'll be a change in points. Right. Uh, if Union Local can pull off an upset against the undefeated Shamrocks, well, you know, that that can change the situation a little bit. But uh, right now, with the way this football team is playing, Barnesville looks like uh, they're a lock to be 10-0 and 0 this year. Yeah, it's a very good shot. Uh, While well, we got a minute here, we also want to mention some of the other sports teams. Uh, in volleyball, this Jet team, or the, excuse me, this... Um, Shenandoah team having an outstanding season and they will be playing Union Local who's also very good this year. They'll be playing tomorrow uh, in the OVAC championship game so good luck to both those schools. Those two teams and I think Meadowbrook probably the best teams in the area mm -hmm. this year. And um, so good luck to them. Uh, also want to mention the Barnesville Reserve football team is undefeated as is the 7th grade team so there's good kids oh. coming up. And, um, you, you talk about having the yeah. program rolling. I mean, you've got the program rolling. <laughs> and um, Barnesville will have their final reserve game in football tomorrow. That will be at Edison tomorrow morning at 10. Uh, the Barnesville Cross Country team is doing very well. They will be in the OVE, Ohio Valley Cross Country League Championship meet tomorrow morning at 9.30. That's yeah. also at Buckeye Local. Do you, do you have a source on that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, also, good luck to the Barnesville volleyball team. Uh, they, I believe, are 11 and 7, 11 and 8, and they will be playing in their tournament next week. I think it's on Monday, and they will be playing Garraway in the first round. Did, did I understand your son is running cross country? No. Did, no uh, he's, he's, uh, okay. Uh, you have you have a you have my, one, my uh, son's out of school. Okay. Yeah. yeah. One of your is one of your runners up for state. Is that yes? Yes. Okay. Well, her, that's three weeks away though. Yet before we can. Uh, no, well, it'd be at one. It'd be two weeks from tomorrow. Will be the regional, and uh, Connor Starr did go to the state last year. He's hoping to get back this year, uh, overcoming some mono. So hopefully that'll he'll overcome that. And uh, how many years you've been doing that now? Forty years. Forty years. Forty. So for, I just forty. Oh, okay. I, yeah. I, I had that. I had that yeah, forty. <laughs> okay. Four oh. I had that down. That's that's a that's a long time to be doing anything. And yep. I love it. Yeah. To be. So uh, it, it's yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. And you're you're. With the teaching, you're kind of like, yeah. Do no, you, I'm retired teaching. Yeah, completely, yeah. completely yeah. out of it. But you, you so can, cross country and track are my hobbies. So it <laughs> okay. gives me something to do. Well, and this, too. Yeah, yeah. and this, right. And this, gotcha. Yeah, keeps okay. me active with the kids. And the, I'll tell you, these, these kids, are high school kids, they'll keep you young. Well, you know, or wear you out, make you old. I don't know. You were talking about <laughs> the, the programs at uh, Barnesville High School. And, uh, you know, you look at the, the football roster for the Shamrocks, and I'm not talking – about talent i'm just talking about numbers. numbers yeah they've got great numbers of course you know you said the volleyball team is having a great year there ha and they've got great numbers and uh cross country great cross number. country that 35 kids uh you know that's four full teams high school boys and girls and junior high boys and girls very few teams in this area have that so we're very proud of the uh the contributions and i will also give a hand out here to shenandoah for the i believe the first time there boys cross country team won the OVAC in their division last week so congratulations to to them so well, you know that's they have a good con one of the power cross country teams in the state well you I think you're thinking Caldwell, Caldwell Redskins right. based down here yeah, yeah they, and they, they, mean, they have them for a few years but, but they, yeah, they're good they but, were there for many for years and years and years Redskin cross country teams they were they were kind of legendary down there. a couple yeah. of state titles I yeah, think. yeah several yeah. yeah and uh coach Dugan Hill uh, in yes. charge of that for many years uh, He's now uh, in a track and cross country official and runs the state meet, so that's good for him. But uh, as if you can tell here, we're just making idle chatter while the clock runs off, and we're down here yeah, now. The was, teams are huddling up. But it was good idle yeah, chatter. Yeah, well, but that's, it's nice to get the other sports from all these schools some recognition. Let's mention our sponsors quickly while we have a chance. Patty's Place, Doan Ford, People's Bank, West 40 Auto Sales, McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home, Chandler Funeral Home, Cedar Ridge Behavioral Health, 
Morgan Bond Realtor with Leonard and Newland, Hissom Service Center, Barnesville Hospital, Patrons Buckeye Mutual Insurance, Laborers Local 530, WB Green Insurance, Farmers and Merchants Bank, Sue Snowed State Farm, Boyd Precision Painting, Patty's Place, Flag Floors, Dairy Queen of Barnesville, and uh, without these sponsors, Mark, we could not be here tonight, and uh, this is kind of a, a loaded sponsor group because you've got some uh, Noble County sponsors mixed in there, but uh, great support for both these teams. Yes, and we appreciate that, and I know the people listening. And a reminder that these games are all on yourradioplace.com. If you know somebody out of the area that wants to listen, and I know we do have listeners in different areas, they can listen or watch on yourradioplace.com for any game that's broadcast. Yeah, and, and, and keep an eye on us because I think we've been corrected several times tonight. Yes. We? We <laughs> well, it's hard, but like I said, that play was on the far side, and some of these Barnesville players, yes. the numbers are hard to read, and then they bunch up their jersey to show off their abs, and you can't see the numbers very well. All right, Evan Lowe, uh, not one of the guys that bunches up his jersey, <laughs> but he can kick. Yes. So, uh, yeah, here we go, and we are underway. Don't Ford kickoff coming down. Brandon Portman with the football, the 20, 25, the 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. He's got some jets. He's going to take it all the way. 10, 5, touchdown, Zeps. There goes that 30-point margin right there. He found a lane on the right side, Mark, and wow, he can run. Yes, and uh, long return there, and I don't know what happened there. The coverage was not very good on the outside there. I don't know if they thought he was going to go up the middle, but a couple, couple of good blocks on the right side. Yes. Let's give the Zeps some credit right, here. Right, yeah. They, they, they sprung him, and he, he followed his blocks and found a lane up the sidelines. I'm not sure. How long did that go? What do you think? Probably around 85? Yeah, I'd say someplace in there. I'm just I, I, um, just wondering. Uh, that might be the first touchdown given up this year by the Barnesville special teams. So we start out the second half with a bang. And they're going to try the extra point now. Snap. It's low. It's, it's up. Blocked. It's blocked. And, and that's no good. Camden Carpenter, I think. I'll see. tell you what, and and the kicker that time uh, for that's uh, Savannah Irvin, she didn't have a chance because they were on top of her before yeah. she got the kickoff. Not her fault. I mean, they were through that line, but that was Camden Carpenter coming from his defensive end position there to block that kick. So it will stay 12 to uh, 12 points now for Shenandoah. 37-12. 37-12, and that will take care of the running clock. So we'll be back on a regular timing system now here well that all depends because barnesville has struck pretty quickly a few times yes. this game themselves so uh after getting an earful from coach allen they're going to come out and return a kick this time let's see what ha great run by brendan portman yeah I'll give credit to him and he saw that opening good, and he just put it in another gear and good great blocking up the right side uh by the zeps Outstanding run, and uh, that's going to cut into that lead. Thirty, you know, that's the thing I like about this Shenandoah football team. You know, their quarterback is out. Obviously, that's that's hurting them tonight, but they don't quit. Right. Yep, they're they're in this, and you can watch them on the sideline. They're enthused, and they're not going to give up. And credit to them and their coaching staff. Portman again. Excuse me, that's uh, Miley again with the kickoff now. And a little low squib kick. That's Taysen Starr's got the football. And he's going to bring it to right around the 43-yard line, first and 10 there for the Shamrocks, now leading 37-12. to 12. Two, touchdowns for, two touchdowns for Portman tonight. That was a nice kickoff return. And you never know, this caldwell Shenandoah game might be a game next week. Uh, Caldwell now losing their third game in a row tonight badly. Up at Toronto, I think we saw what thirty the I'm seven. Not or sure if they. I think they had a win sandwiched in there. They're losing their third well, game this year. It, that's what I mean. Yes. Yeah, third loss this year. They've lost to. Uh, they've lost to this Barnesville football team, and then they lost to Fort Fry the following week. Then and they then, had. Then they had a win. Nah, I think Fort Fry was last week. I thought. Uh, check. Could that. be wrong. Okay. But it, here you want. Oh, but anyway. Um, regardless, uh, Shenandoah jumps offside and they will be penalized five yards and so that will 
make the Barnesville situation now a first and five. And now Barnesville jumps off sides. Good oh, grief. Boy. Hey, yeah, boy. boy. Yeah, Carpenter's mad. He's upset with somebody. And he did the tackle there for Barnesville and jumped. And that was Dylan Lucas. I stand and that's the 10th penalty now of the I stand game. I stand corrected, sir. This will be their third loss in a row. Their last win was against Connaughton Valley. The snap, the give, straight ahead. And that's, uh, I believe, Tolliver. That is Tolliver, 26. Yeah. Good call. And short gain for Tolliver on the play. That's uh, second that down right around five now yep. for the Shamrocks. So good gain on first down. Tulliver now four carries for 16 yards. I want to point out too that Redskins, uh, Toronto Red Knights, they've they're seven and one. Yeah, yeah, they're, 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 a, good they're a good football team. And Carpenter gets that pass out there. That's uh, Duker Costello, and he's going to run the ball out of bounds right around the Shenandoah 45. That'll, that'll be a Caldwell Lumber first down. And again, that Rocks. nice block out there leading him out was Detling. The two receivers block well and block well for each other. Two top receivers, and uh, I, I mean, those guys do work well together. That's the second or third time tonight they've thrown that pass, and... Um, Works well. And that's something, if you watch Ohio State football, you'll see those receivers, oh, that, that, they know how to block. They, they uh, and I'll tell you what, it is required. If you yes. want to play, you better block. Straight ahead. Tolliver. And he's going to pick up three on the play. Second down and seven now for the Rocks. A little bit of an extracurricular there. I'm not sure what happened. Yeah, there was a uh, there was a little bit of from Shenandoah fans. Uh, I, yeah, I heard that. And Barnesville player something, and but I'm not sure what it was. A sort of block there from our view. And I also ask our listeners that what you see on TV, we cannot necessarily see. We're yeah. watching the game live, and sometimes things happen away from us, we can't see them. Carpenter up under center this time. Zips showing a blitz, and that ball's dropped, and Carpenter gets on it. Nice play, just to cover the fumble. That's going to bring up a third down and probably right around 15 or 16 now for the Rocks. Well, if nothing else, with this situation, with that kickoff return and them not clicking real well here in offense, we'll definitely see the, the starting unit in here for a while, I think. Well. I see Bodie Carpenter coming in. Yes, Carpenter is still the quarterback. And he'll be in the shotgun formation. Bodie Carpenter coming all the way out to the left side. Detling and uh, Costello are with him. Single receiver out to the right. The snap, back, looking, 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 gunning the ball down. It's picked! That is uh, number four for the Zeps. Great pick there, anticipating that sideline route. That was uh, Colt Wheeler. And the Zeps are in business in Barnesville territory. And uh, hold the phone. Uh, there maybe. is a flag. Let's see what we've got. I, I, I think that's, that's the after interception, the pick, yes. yes. But it's that's a, the first time this season that Casey Carpenter's been intercepted. And he got red, too. I mean, there was no doubt about it. Wheeler waited on him to throw that football, and the second he did, he broke, and he picked it. Well, I'm, pick. I'm also not sure if maybe that wasn't something wrong with the receiver there. It looked like he went straight. Carpenter threw it out in the flat thinking he was going to go there. So Cut one him. of them was wrong. Yeah, and that's another thing that can happen. And, you know, that kind of thing can happen all year long where your receiver and your quarterback are not on the same page. That's first down for the Zeps now. They're going to mark it right around the Shenandoah 49. Must have been a penalty yep. there on the return on the it Zeps. It was. I, did, I don't think he ever did... Uh, say what it was, but regardless now, the ball, Shenandoah, their own 49. Oh, freshman's in a quarterback. Oh, okay. Gunning the ball to the outside. Here we go. That's Hunter Yates. And right away, the freshman we were talking about, number 16, that's uh, Davin Kunkel. 
And uh, he's, like I said, he's he's grade nine, first year in varsity football. And they're going to put him out there in the second half. And right away, he gets a pass out there to number five, Hunter Yates. Boy, he's not very big. The snap, Yates again. Same play. And they're going to run to the 30th. You know, one thing you can say about um, having Kunkel in there, the playbook seems to have expanded a little bit. Yeah, we've seen that so far. It's been the same play. Let's see here. Um, Kunkel, just kind of curious. He's not very big, as we said. No, he's just a freshman. Yeah, 16. 5'5", five, five, 130. Yes. <laughs> he can throw, though. Here we go. Now he's going to gun it down the field, and uh, somebody misread there. Nothing going on uh, with flags. So looks to me like um, that time Kunkel thought one of his receivers was going to. They had a bunch over there. And he thought one of them was going to break deep. Nobody did. Trips off to the right again. They've stuck with this formation. Every time the throw has been to the right. Twins left. The snap. Back. Gunning the ball down the middle of the field. And that time into traffic. Miley couldn't come up with a football. And it falls to the ground. But that was a dangerous pass yes, right there, Mark. It went right through the hands there. That was uh, Camden Carpenter broke that up. And he's lucky that the bounce didn't go into another player's hands. 9-16 left now so in the third. third. And ten. Zepps have cut it to 37-12. to And they've got their freshman, Davin Kunkel, in there at quarterback. Again, same formation. Trips right, twins left. The snap. Back looking. This time he's looking. Now he's going to tuck it under and run it. And he's got the ball down to the 35-yard line. Let's see. 36. So that's going to bring up a fourth down and five. They go for this. Oh, I'm sure they will, yes. 8.55 clock running here in the third quarter. If they don't convert here, Barnesville will still have... This formation oh, a little different. Yards, They've yeah. got single receiver out to the left. Trips right. Kunkel's the quarterback. Let's see. Are they saying that's on Barnesville? That's five yards. That's going to make it. I think they're going to be about a yard short, maybe a half yard. That's unbelievable that these linemen just keep that jumping. Time, I think that time they were drawn off. And here comes Kunkel to the sidelines to confer with his coaches. Signals coming in. 11 penalties now for Barnesville, 60 yards. Well, and they gave up that kickoff return. So here's some things to work on. Plays in now. Kunkel with the football. Back, looking. Down the middle of the field again, a dangerous pass broken up. Looking for Portman that time, who was across the middle of the field, and that's going to give the Rocks the football as Shenandoah turns it over on down. Probably not a real good pass. Threw it in a crowded area there with several defenders, and there were two, actually, Shenandoah receivers right next to each other. You know, a, a couple of plays, he looked pretty good, but a, there were a couple of plays in there where he looked like a freshman. Right. Threw it right into crowds. I mean, a lot of coverage in there and tried to force the ball in. Sometimes in freshman football, you can get away with that. In varsity football, usually not the case. Rock's ball, the snap, the give. That is uh, number 26, Trey Tolliver, I think, with the football. Now it's... Is that see. Star? Yes, it is. Yeah, that was Taysen Star. It was Taysen Star, okay. So it's got to be a gain of about three. And they've got their starting running back back in there. Tells you something, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. First interception of the year thrown by Casey Carpenter. Not sure if the receiver was not on the same page, but it was a clean pick and a good one. High formation. Here's the snap. Here's Star. He's got some room, the 40, and he's going to take it all the way up to right around the 46-yard line. That's a Caldwell Lumber first down for the Rocks. Going to mark it at the 48. So that'd be a 14-yard gain. That looked like the old Green Bay Packers power sweep. Pulled the guards, came out. 139 yards rushing now for Taysen Starr on six totes. Touchdown runs of 54 and 48 yards. 
Carpenter up under center again. Caldwell Lumber first down for the Rocks. The snap to give straight ahead. He's got a hole, and he's got a lot of room. Tayson Stars, that's a gain of 12 down to the Shenandoah 40. They've gashed them a couple times tonight well, with that play. Quick hitter. Yeah, you could see there they, they shot that gap on the left side, the linebacker did, and they went, well, it was on the Shenandoah's left side, Barnesville's right, and Barnesville ran that play to the left, and that was that uh, big opening there with nobody there. So first and 10, Shamrock's ball right on the 40. 7.25, clock rolling here in the third quarter. Carpenter up under center. Oh, there was some movement. That's going to be on Barnesville. Yes, and that is a good call. Guard moved out one count early. More frustration for the Rocks. Penalties more than anything else. 12 penalties now on Barnesville. Clock rolls. 7.20 and counting left here in the third quarter. Rocks with the football. It's first down and 15. Carpenter up under center. This time the tailback, Trey Tolliver. Gunning the ball to the outside. That's Detling cutting it back up inside. Going to take it down to the Shenandoah 37-yard line. Second down now. Right around seven to go for the Rocks. Barnesville hasn't, uh, except for a couple of long running plays, they haven't given up too many big plays tonight as far as um, one passing play. Right. Carpenter with the pitch. Tayson Starr trying the right side. Cuts it back. Good run. He's going to pick up right around five. We'll make it third and short for the Rocks. Barnesville would like to get a score in and get that clock running. Boy, it looked like they had it. They had a 30-point lead at the half. Came out. On the opening kickoff, Brendan Portman with a huge kickoff return. And the Zeps were started for the second half. I formation. Oh. Another movement on the Barcel line. And I'll tell you what, I, I'm watching Blake Allen. I don't even know if he, I think he thinks that may have been a hair quick on the official's part. Yeah, any way you look at it, 13 penalties now. Yeah, any way you look at it, he's not happy. Right. Okay? <laughs> it doesn't make yeah. any difference if the official got it wrong, but whatever the case is, he's not happy. That's two in this series. Yes, 5 26, clock rolling. Carpenter up under center. Here's the pitch. They're going to try half back pass. Tayson Starr's got Costello. Oh, over his head. Oh, they're look he's looking for interference. He yeah, actually, there wasn't interference there. They both going for the ball. Yeah, that and that was pretty good coverage. I think uh, it looked like number 11, Hunter House, down there on the coverage. That ball hung up in the air a little bit, but that's Tayson Starr's second pass attempt in this game. Pretty much the same play there that they threw earlier. And give uh, Shenandoah credit. The, didn't see who the defender was there, but he was right on Costello. 36-yard line, fourth down, right around six to go. They're going for it. Oh, yeah. Why not? Carpenter, the quarterback in shotgun formation. The snap, blitz, blitz, and he guns it. He's got a first down if that catch stands. Yes, it is. Who and was that? That was, that was Detling with a great catch. He just sat down. He found a little opening and sat down. His quarterback found him. It's got to throw you off with a left-handed quarterback. I don't know if I ever experienced that. Yeah. <laughs> I and mean, he was it, rolling it, to the it, right it, there. It's just different. Yeah. <laughs> you have to just think in reverse all the time. And he was rolling to the right, which makes that more difficult for him. And he kind of threw it back across his body. Yeah. Great throw. Carpenter 
That's Caldwell Lumber. First down straight ahead. Star, he's got a crease. He's going to score. Touchdown. Tayson Star. 24 yards. 442 left in the third quarter. Rocks are back up 43 to 12. That's going to get them that running clock. That's the third big touchdown run of the day for Star. He's having a day. He's been having a season. Well, that too. Low in for the extra point attempt. Ooh, low snap, picked up. Good job by the holder. That's Detling. Detling with a and nice. That's, a, that's that's a that, he's done that a couple yeah. times tonight. He did that on the field goal. It was a high snap. So 4-11 left here in the third quarter. The score: Barnesville 44, Shenandoah 12. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this. Celebrating a decade of deliciousness, Patty's Place has been serving homestyle cooked meals since 2013. Indulge in their homemade pies daily and enjoy breakfast served all day long. They're open 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday and 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Sundays. Don't forget to check out their Facebook page for daily specials. Conveniently located between Bell Valley and Caldwell on State Route 821. Come on over and satisfy your cravings at Patty's Place. High School Football from ABC Sports on WBNV, Barnesville, Woodsfield, 93 BNV. We're back, Shenandoah High School, Bill Castler, Mark Brown with you here on WBNV tonight. Barnesville with a 44-12 lead on the Shenandoah Zeps. Taysen Starr having himself a game, as we said. He is up now to 180 yards rushing, two touchdowns. And he's played, uh, had some nice plays on defense also. Yeah, having a night. And he's also the snapper on all the PATs and field goals. Here's a little squib kick by low. One of the up men, that's Miley fields that for the Zeps. And he's going to be dropped right around the 37-yard line. First and 10 for the Zeps. Now the clock is rolling here. It's more than a 30-point lead for Shenandoah. For Barnesville, yes. For Barnesville, excuse me. We don't want somebody to just tune into us and hear you say that and have a heart attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good call. That's hey, that's that's why you're that's why you make the big bucks. You keep me keep me on the straight and narrow here, okay? One of the many perks of working with me. There's a lot to correct. A lot to correct. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I don't talk about the game much. It's mostly just correct. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's good. That's yeah. yeah. That's good. That's good. You keep that in mind. The I clock did. is running, as we said, down to 315 now in the you, third quarter. You just wait. You're due. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I've made several. I think you just <laughs> yeah. didn't catch them. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I heard them. <laughs> okay. I heard you apologize earlier. <laughs> okay. 44-12, Barnesville with the lead. Zepps with the football. Freshman quarterback again. Here's the give straight ahead. That's Devold, I think, or is that Lively? One of the two. That's 24. That's 24. DeVold. That's McPeak. McPeak, okay. And um, Tayson Starr after that touchdown. Makes the tackle. So that's, that's the other thing about a Division Five team. You know, they're going two ways in a lot yes. of cases. That's hard on the kids. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm, you know, they get good athletes here. Star on the sidelines now. The snap. Oh, the freshman is yanked down. Kunkel tried to it was that was the read option but the running back was past him and uh the shamrocks were uh they were they were right in uh, number 16 zip code yeah. when when he looked up big dylan <laughs> lucas right there the junior uh, yeah, or sophomore excuse me not six eight or five eight 230 pounds not what you want to see <laughs> i mean yeah. not what you want to see oh boy he's right in front of me 202 coming up on two minutes now clock continues to roll 30-point lead for the Shamrocks. Snap. Kunkel back, looking, looking. He makes one man miss. Now he's got to tuck it under and run. The 40. And he's spinning, and there's a wow. flag in there. He's got it close to, for a 130-pound guy, he, he is. Yeah, 5'3". Fighting. It's going to be a gain of about seven or eight yards. Yeah, he's fighting. He's, uh, let's see. And there was there a flag or was that a marker, one flying in there? Lucas just about got him in the backfield. Uh, just couldn't quite get his hands oh, on He's him. slippery. He yeah. is. And that was a penalty on Shenandoah, I believe. Let's see. Let's see what the call is. It's got to be a hold or something. 
And he's already made the call. The official is walking it back. Let's see. So, yeah, must be a hold. It's hold. It looks like 10 yards. Yeah, 10, 10 yards, yards, right. And it's from the spot of the foul, so it was a late hold. That's a shame. Uh, Devon Kunkel. That's 60 yards in penalties now on Shandoa. Yeah, and... Good effort by the freshman. Now they're looking to the sidelines. He's got twins right, twins left. Single back in there with him is McPeak. Kunkel, the quarterback, in shotgun formation. The snap. And back, looking. Guns the ball down the field. That's going to be up in the air. And I think that is a catch. The flag, that's got to be... Interference, I, I think. Th I think that's Portman with the catch. And let's see. Was that Portman? Ten, yeah. No, number ten. So that is going to be Colton Gress. Now they are going to call a pass interference on that. Ah, Colton Gress is a freshman. Okay. So there we go. Freshman to freshman. Let's see. Was there, was there a pass? Yeah, pass interference on Barnesville. Not sure who it was on. So that's kind of interesting. Freshman to freshman. <laughs> you like that? Yes. Coming up, and up, boy, the third quarter is winding yeah. down quickly here. I don't know if they're going to get this play no, off. I don't even think they're going to try. No, they're not. That is it. The end of the third quarter of play. The score, Barnesville 44, Shenandoah 12. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this. I was sitting in my car, and it wouldn't start. I lifted the hood, and the engine was falling apart. What would I do? My eyes filled with tears. Then on the radio, I heard of West 40 by pay here. Where for a little money down and a little each week, I could have a car, nice, shiny, and sleek. So I walked in the door and I put the money down. Now I got a nice car that I can drive around. West 40 by pay here will help rebuild your credit. The corner of Dewey and Route 40 in Cambridge, don't you forget it. West 40 Auto Sales, corner of Route 40 and Dewey Avenue in Cambridge, is home of a guaranteed credit approval, with most loans approved while you wait. Go to their website to fill out an online loan application, west40autosales.com. You'll also find their weekly special listed there. We're back, beginning of the fourth quarter. Shamrocks lead the Shenandoah Zeps 44 to 12. Zeps with the football, first and 10 at midfield. Kunkel, the quarterback, the give to McPeak, and no gain on the play. How many, uh, we see, we're, are we seeing some subs in there now? For that's why I think, I think um, that's why I was looking, I was trying to see who made that tackle. I, it looked like a cleaner jersey. Cole Francis back in here now okay. on this side, yes. and uh, Camden Carpenter is a safety. I think hey, Tolliver is in here on defense now, the linebacker, or actually a defensive back. And, and I don't see Tace and Sarbodi Carpenters on the far side, so. Kunkel, the court bobbles the snap and straight ahead. I think that's McPeak. Is that McPeak? Yes, it is. No, oh, Snodgrass. That's 21. Okay. All right. Checking my roster. Snodgrass, a freshman. And that was uh, Logan Craker with the tackle. Third and nine. Okay, Kunkel the quarterback. And a host of freshmen with him. Kunkel pumps, pulls it down. He's going to run. Ooh, shoo, he's, he got clobbered. <laughs> that was that Detling that got him? No, Heinz Ford. Heinz Ford, thank you. Six and eight. A little hard to. Yes, they are. A little hard to see there. Also in on that tackle. One head from behind and one got him. In front there, so we said Heinz Ford. Tough kid, he gets, and he gets right up. Colby Jones. Fourth down, right around four now here, Mark. They're going to go for this, no doubt about it. Clock continues to roll, coming up left on 10 minutes left here in the football game. Snap, Kunkel's got it. He's going to swing it out there. That's a nice catch there. That is uh, Corbin Varhola with the catch. 
And he's going to take it down to right around the 40-yard line. Let's see. Boy. A lot, lot of complaining. A lot of officials. Well, they thought the official or the out here was holding. And they he probably was a little bit, but they're not going to call it in this situation. Fourth down now. Are they going to measure this? Yeah, it looks like they are. Both coaches wanting to talk with their football teams. And a lot of subs in. Yes. So 44 to 12, the score 952. The clock is stopped now while they complete this measurement. First down, that's a Caldwell Lumber first down for the Zeps. Boy, you know, we've got to come up with a drive of the game, play of the game, a player of the game for Shenandoah. We've got a lot of business to attend to after this yeah. football game. It, Shenandoah, player, play of the game, correct? Player of the game, uh, Shenandoah. Play, play of the game, though. Player, uh, no, uh, play of the game either way. Either way, okay. Either way. We can do and drive the game either way. I'm, I'm going to say it's been a Barnesville night. We'll probably call them as Barnesville drives and a Barnesville play of the game is what I'm thinking. Player of the game, though, belongs to the Zeps. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Nine. And let's see. Time out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 9.46 here left in the uh, football game. The score, Barnesville 44, Shenandoah 12. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this. Flag Floors of Barnesville has been delivering superior quality flooring solutions for over 30 years. They feature carpet, vinyl, wood, and ceramic flooring and cater to both residential and commercial customers. They also have custom cabinets, Kensington High Performance windows, and Liberty safes, including handgun vaults. Flag Floors even has a complete line of rental items to help you tackle those jobs and a wide range of cleaners and polishers. It's all at Flag Floors, 324 South Chestnut Street in Barnesville. Call 425-3344. Visit them online at flagfloors.com and like them on Facebook. Welcome back. Shenandoah High School, Barnesville with a big lead on the Zeps tonight, 44-12. to 12. Zeps with the football, timeout on the field. Shenandoah is first and 10 from the Barnesville 39-yard line. No quit in the Zeps tonight. Devin Kunkel, the quarterback with the football straight ahead. He's got the, got some room, the 30, and thrown down. That is uh, number 14. Uh, that's Cole Francis. And right now, Barnesville has pretty much all, uh, most of the players in there now are subs. Yeah. But if Shannon Doe is able to score, it brings it under 30 points. And you lose your running clock. Well, okay. Kunkel, the quarterback, straight ahead. Ooh, that was nasty. I think that was Cole Francis. No, 31. That was Hunter McCollum, another freshman. So Coach Lowry putting in his youngsters. 8.52, clock rolling here. As we approach the end of the game. Kunkel, the quarterback, second and 10, the snap back. Wide receiver screen. He's got a man out there. Flag is down. Let's see. That's. I think that's going to be a hold. Let's see what the call is. Trying to look and see who made that catch. Well, if it's a hold, it's not going to make any difference. We'll see. I think it is going to be on Shenandoah. And a reminder again to our Barnesville listeners. It is holding. That'll move it back so that run no good. Barnesville will have a reserve game tomorrow. I believe it's their final game of the season up at Edison at 10 o'clock. Grady Mazgay, I think, made the catch, but it's not going to count. It's going to make it second down and right around 20. Well, I'll tell you what, with Kunkel in there, it's been interesting, if nothing yeah. else. The snap, the give, and nothing doing. 
That time, the Rocks defense is all over the running back. Let's see who that was. That's 21. Okay, that is uh, Robert Snodgrass. 21, Robert Snodgrass. Third down and 19 to go now. Kunkel looks over to the sidelines. 44-12, Barnesville with a big lead. Snap, oh, left a count early. They're not gonna worry about it. Guns the pass down inside, is that good? Nice Number job. 10, yeah. That's, a, Gress, that's another freshman with the catch. That's an eight yard catch or play. Fourth down now and they go for this. Oh yeah. No doubt about it. Let's see the, okay. Yep, fourth and 11. Ball on the bar, so 29. Davin Kunkel, the quarterback, in shotgun formation. The snap, and number 10 left a, left a beat early. Let Colton Grass a little bit excited, and uh, yeah, he anticipated the count. So they're catching up with Barnesville now on the penalties. They have 65 yards. Hey, you got a lot of freshmen yep. in. You got a lot of Barnesville at 85. In. Although the, I think most of the line is the experienced line for the Zeps. A lot of the skilled players now, young guys. And Barnesville, mostly all their players in there now are second teamers. Kunkel guns the ball down the field, and that is broken up. Nice job down there. Looks like... Uh, that was uh, Bodie Carpenter, I believe. Jamison Archer was the intended receiver, 25 couldn't pull it in, and Bodie Carpenter with a nice job there. Kind of a jump ball thrown up by Kunkel, but that will turn the ball back over to the Rocks. Boy, I'll tell you what. See, that clock should be running now. Uh, no, change of possession. I thought it ran during that, too. It doesn't, okay. Change of possession, it does not. So that turns the ball over on downs, but I think change of possession is the one time it stops. And I'm not a rules expert, right. so you can check into that. I could be wrong. All right, this will be the backup quarterback for Barnesville, and we'll go through that here Francis, in a minute. Francis, 14. Cole Francis. Cole Francis. Trying to see who carried that ball with the binoculars here. And 17? 22. 22, okay. Yes. That is and Evan Carpenter. Yes, okay. And that will be a gain of five yards for Carpenter. All right, Francis, the quarterback now. Second down and four for the Rocks. Both freshmen. 5.55 left in the football game. Clock is running. Carpenter makes one man miss. Straight ahead, good run. Caldwell Lumber first down for the Rocks out to the 49-yard line. Nice job by Evan Carpenter. They're going to mark it at the 48, still a first down. That'll be an eight-yard gain for Evan. A lot of backups in on defense now for the Zeps. Breeze picking up a little bit. Supposed to start raining later tonight. Cole Francis, the quarterback, up under center. Here's That's the pitch. Sweep. Evan Carpenter again. The 50, the 45, the 40. That's another Caldwell Lumber first out. And I think he went down in bounds. Doesn't make any difference. Clock right. continues to roll. <laughs> That'll be a 13-yard gain for Evan Carpenter. I feel better. At least I corrected myself that time. <laughs> Darn it, you didn't give me the chance. I know. <laughs> All right, clock down the 445. In the game. Barnjell driving. A lot of backups. Barnjell up 44 to 12. Pretty much all backups. A lot yes. of backups in for both teams. It's a reserve game. All right. 14 Francis, the quarterback. Back and rolling. Looking. Got a gun. Nice pass. He's got a good arm. He, he does. He's he, hard. Who, yeah. Who's, who is that? 88? 88, yes. Okay, that is, uh, let's see, that is Carter Caplet. Okay. And that was a gain of six. Four minutes left now here in the football game. Boy, that running clock. Good rule, I think. Yeah. I like it. 
Well, both these teams uh, move on to rivalry games next week. We'll have Barnes, to get that UL yeah. score. And yeah, we'll check that. I'll check that right now, in fact. Here's Carpenter. Nice run by Evan. That would be a gain of 11 yards. And let's see, that was, as we said, that was Evan Carpenter, 11. And I tell you, he's picking up some yardage. Yeah, he's just a freshman. 37 yards now on four carries for Evan Carpenter. See, I'm working on that Union local score. All right, so this will be a first and 10. Ball on the Shenandoah 22. Boy, Carter Francis gives it off to Evan Carpenter. He's breaking through there, and he keeps going. He rolls. He's in for the touchdown. Nice job. Evan Carpenter, 22-yard touchdown run for the freshman. That's going to pad the lead. You have to like that, don't you? Well, you know, when the, the all everybody on the team likes it when the second team comes in and they, they score. Nice. And, and I, that was they kind of followed the offensive line and Evan Carpenter, didn't they? Yes. Got a score from Toronto, fourth quarter score. It's the Red Knights 54, Caldwell Redskins 20. And Barnzell looks like, I can't see, this is another kicker, I believe. Let's Got see here. So Evan Carpenter scores, and 14, was that, was that Francis? That's, it was 14, it was no. Francis. I believe it's 19. 19, okay. I'm looking at binoculars here. It's hard to see. And uh, that's 51 to 12. Well, and just 225 left in the game. Colt Carpenter. <laughs> Colt Carpenter, okay. Another Boy, freshman. Got a final win, Union Local over Bel Air, 20 to 14. Wow, it ended up being close. It so, was 20 yeah. to nothing. Yeah. Morgan all over Meadowbrook, 69 to 26. Wow. Buckeye Trail clobbers East Canton, 45 to 14. And it's Monroe Central over Frontier, 41 to 6. That's our Sue Snowed State Farm Insurance scoreboard update. Right here, Shamrocks, 51. Shenandoah, 12. A drive by the second team. Boy, you have to like that. Yeah, and you know, some of these young freshmen for Shenandoah, even though they didn't score, they moved the ball. So, all right, and this is another backup. This is uh, Evan Lowe kicking off. Oh, it is Lowe, yes. okay. Now let's see who. That's that. one of the freshmen, 25 with the football. Let's see, that is 25, that is Jameson Archer. All right, and on the tackle there for Barnesville was, well, I thought it was 28, but there's not a 28 in our program here. So it's either the wrong number or I didn't look at it right. Yeah, clock rolling, 140 left in the football game. 51 to 12, Barnesville with a big lead. This should be the last possession of the football game here, I think. Yeah, they'll get three or four plays at the most. Kunkel still the quarterback for the Zeps. Shotgun formation. Snap. Kunkel keeps it, trying the left side. Brought down after probably about a five-yard gain. Second down and six now. Coming up on one minute left in the football game. And that was Eli Messenger on the tackle. Kunkel with a four yard gain. Yeah, and some of the faithful beginning to file out of the stadium. Here's Kunkel in trouble and whistles and let's see. All right. Coming up on 30 seconds left here in the game. Shamrocks are going to remain undefeated. They will travel on. They will play Union Local next week. And the Zeps, of course, will head down to Caldwell and play the Redskins, who've lost three in a row. Long pass and picked off. 
That is uh, number 19 for the Shamrocks. And that is Cole, Cole Carpenter. Carpenter. Oh, Cole Colt, Carpenter. he's a freshman. Okay, there we go. And change of possession, 11 seconds left, change of possession. And Clock that is does stop. Each team with one turnover tonight. Yeah, and surprisingly, the one for the Zeps, uh, an, an interception, the first of the year for Casey Carpenter. And it was a good, clean pick. I would. Yes. I, every time I, he just read it and jumped the route and did a nice job. Seven seconds left. I don't, they're going to have to run a game. They're yep. going to have to run a play. They're gonna, yeah. That is going to do it tonight. Boy. So your final score is Barnesville 51 and Shenandoah 12. Barnesville is now 9-0 and on the season. And Shenandoah falls to 3-6 and with a tough game next week in their rival at... Caldwell, yep. Barnesville will host, but or it, will play at UL next week. Yeah, but it sure does look like the Redskins are going to be on a three-game losing streak yes. going into that football game. And, you know, that's one of those games, throw out the record. And it's going to be the same thing for Barnesville, despite the fact that the Shamrocks are unbeaten. Union Local will play them tough. Oh, I'm sure they will, yes. All Barnesville here tonight. Final score once again, it is the Shamrocks 51, the Zeps 12. We'll take a break, add up some of the numbers, and we'll be back with more right after this. I was sitting in my car, and it wouldn't start. I lifted the hood, and the engine was falling apart. What would I do? My eyes filled with tears. Then on the radio, I heard of West 40 by pay here. We're for a little money down and a little each week. I could have a car, nice, shiny, and sleek. So I walked in the door and I put the money down. Now I got a nice car that I can drive around. West 40 by pay here will help rebuild your credit. The corner of Dewey and Route 40 in Cambridge, don't you forget it. West 40 Auto Sales, corner of Route 40 and Dewey Avenue in Cambridge, is home of a guaranteed credit approval, with most loans approved while you wait. Go to their website to fill out an online loan application, west40autosales.com. You'll also find their weekly special listed there. Flag Floors of Barnesville has been delivering superior quality flooring solutions for over 30 years. They feature carpet, vinyl, wood, and ceramic flooring and cater to both residential and commercial customers. They also have custom cabinets, Kensington high-performance windows, and Liberty safes, including handgun vaults. Flag Floors even has a complete line of rental items to help you tackle those jobs and a wide range of cleaners and polishers. It's all at Flag Floors, 324 South Chestnut Street in Barnesville. Call 425-3344. Visit them online at flagfloors.com and like them on Facebook. How can you select from insurance companies offering you lizards or ducks? When it comes to protection for your home and auto, you want a company that provides quality insurance products and personalized, fair, friendly claims service. WB Green Insurance represents Westfield Insurance. Their reputation is based on sharing knowledge and building trust. Westfield has been around the neighborhood over 150 years. WB Green Insurance welcomes the opportunity to quote your home, car, and business insurance. Don't be fooled by lizards and ducks. Call 439-1329. Chandler Funeral Home and Cremation Service not only offers the most modern and spacious funeral home in the area, it also offers the largest outdoor monument selection display. If you are considering a lasting headstone for a loved one, take a drive by Chandler Funeral Home to view their wide variety of sizes and colors. For personalized assistance in selecting your monument, contact Chandler Funeral Home at 732-1311 or on the web at chandlerfuneralhome.net. Choose comfort. Choose Chandler Funeral Home. People's Bank's vision is to be the best community bank in America. People's Bank provides local, hometown relationship-based banking with 132 full-service branches for all of your financial needs. As your community bank, People's Bank strives to make our communities a better place to live, work, and play. We would love a chance to earn your business. People's Bank. Working together. Building success. Member FDIC. Just like on the field, we believe in teamwork with our customers. 
This is Ashley Rich from the Farmers and Merchants Bank on the Square in Colwell. With our services, you can bank from your home, the office, or even at the stadium. You can sit back and enjoy the game knowing your money is in great hands. Good luck to all the local teams this year from everyone at the Farmers and Merchants Bank. Member FDIC. High School Football from ABC Sports on WBNV, Barnesville, Woodsfield, 93 BNV. We're back at Shenandoah High School. Bill Kastler, Mark Brown. Shamrocks come away with a 51-12 victory over the Zeps tonight. Uh, well, kind of an easy game, but Shenandoah, a couple of plays tonight, and they made it a little bit interesting. Uh, Zeps had uh, moved out to a nice uh, lead at the half. It was uh, 37 to six and uh, kickoff second half uh, was Brendan Portman with an 85 yard kickoff return on the Shamrocks, 1140 left in the third. It made it 37 to 12, took off the running clock for a little bit. So a nice job there by Brendan Portman who played quarterback for much of the night. Then it was Taysen Starr answering for the Shamrocks, 411 left in the third. It was a 24 yard run by Starr. 44 to 12 Barnesville and finally was Evan Carpenter with about a 10 yard run to wrap things up for the Shamrocks uh, making the final score 51 to 12 Barnesville. Uh, Mark Brown want to talk just a little bit about uh, some of the uh, things that we saw tonight. Uh, first our patrons Buckeye Mutual Insurance Company drive of the game. Uh, not really much of a drive but <laughs> we're going to call it a drive. How's that? All right. First quarter, Taysen Starr gets the ball. First time for the Shamrocks. Breaks through the line. 54-yard touchdown. 7 nothing. That is our patrons Buckeye Mutual Insurance Company drive of the game. So it wasn't much of a drive, one play, but it still is a drive. So that was pretty key. Uh, let's talk about the play of the game brought to you by King Carpet and Swim Away Pool and Spa. That was an interesting play. Zeps had just cut it to 21 to six. Uh, nice, long, very gritty drive. Zeps were able to score to cut the lead to 21 six. And um, it was um, punt return. Cam Carpenter, 34 yards. Basically the ball hit him in the back. It was a shanked punt, hit him in the back. He turned around, ball bounced right up into his hands. He took it in from 34 yards out. That is our King Carpet and Swim Away Pool and Spa play of the game. And uh, you've got some stats here. Uh, so yeah. let's let's talk about some of the final numbers. Uh, Barnesville kind of just padding out their stats tonight with uh, Zepps being out of their starting quarterback, uh, dominating this game statistically. Yeah, uh, Portman, the starting quarterback, uh, one of six. And then De De Devin Car uh, Kunkel, the freshman that came in late, he completed... Um, three of seven. So uh, catching Hunter Yates, two catches for 11 yards. West of Miley, a catch for three. Uh, Gress, uh, one big catch, or two of them for 28 yards. And then Bahola, a catch for four yards. So uh, 46 yards passing tonight for Shandoa. Our player of the game, um, Brennan Portman, tonight 63 yards on 22 carries. Uh, Kunkel carried the ball four times, five times for 17 yards. And um, lively tonight, 13 yards on four carries. That everything up there. And you have 111 yards rushing, 46 passing, 157 yards from the line of scrimmage. Uh, Bar or Shenandoah did have one turnover, the interception there. Uh, Kunkel threw. And 65 yards in penalties tonight for Shenandoah. Barnesville tonight, uh, uh, Casey Carpenter tonight, he completed... Uh, 13 of 17 passes, and uh, also Taysen Starr threw two that were incomplete, and Cole Francis threw one that was complete. Duca Costello tonight, two catches, 35 yards. Luke Detling tonight, eight catches for 98 yards. Nice St yes, he did. Taysen Starr, two catches for 45 yards, and Carter Kaplan a catch for six yards. So for Barnesville tonight, 184 yards passing. Rushing tonight, though, the big story, Barnesville, Taysen Star tonight, nine carries, 180 yards, and two touchdowns. 
Evan Carpenter is tonight. 20, is that 20 yards a carry? Yeah, just about. Yes, Ooh, it is. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Of course, when you've got a 54, a 48, and a 24 and some others. Um, Evan Carpenter, the freshman, at the late in the game, he had four carries tonight, or five carries for 49 yards. Casey Carpenter, two carries tonight, 12 yards. Trey Tolliver, 16 yards on five carries. And that was it tonight. So add everything up there. You have 257 yards rushing, 184 passing, 241 yards of, from the offensive line. But Barnesville tonight penalized 13 times for 85 yards. Yeah, they'll be talking about yeah. that. <laughs> and uh, one turnover tonight, and that was Casey Carpenter's first interception he's thrown of the year. And again, your final score tonight is 51-12 to in favor of the Barnesville Shamrocks. Hey, let's talk real quickly about our plus one pizza player of the game awarded to the top Shenandoah player of the football game. We're going to give it tonight to uh, Brendan Portman. And what do you have him for rushing-wise tonight? He, he had a decent night. I mean, a lot of carries. Yeah, 63 yards on 22 carries. Yeah, and let's, and let's not forget. two touchdowns. Yeah, let's not forget about that 85-yard kickoff return. Yes. Uh, for the, uh, after the you know, third, beginning of the third quarter, that was probably the most exciting play of the game for the Zeps. So, Brendan Portman, uh, he is our plus one pizza player of the game. Congratulations going out to him. We'll get that pizza right off to him. He better share that with some of the guys who were blocking with for him on that kickoff. Great night tonight, Mark. Uh, what do you think? Final thoughts? I think it's just we're talking about we're moving on to the final game now. Yeah, and Bar uh, Union Local again. Uh, a big win tonight as they won 20 to 12. 20 to 14. 14, yes. Over, uh, over, over the Big Reds. Over Union Local. And uh, uh, over Union Local over Bel Air. Uh, excuse so me. You did it. Yes, I did. <laughs> I, I knew I would. But anyway, so that game will be on WBNV radio only next week. And um, You and Jeff Stevens on yes. the call. Yeah. And that will be a, a big implication also on where teams will place for playoffs. Yeah, and it'll be, it'll be the Zeps uh, going down to the fairgrounds to take on the Caldwell Redskins, who I believe are probably going to lose to the Toronto Red Knights tonight. I will be on the call for that game. Okay, and that will be the third straight loss now after... Uh, what, six straight wins yes. for Caldwell? Yes, so it's a big game for Caldwell. They got, they've got to turn things around. And, of course, the Zeps, they want to do nothing more than uh, spoil the Redskins season. So, final score here once again tonight. It is Barnesville 51, Shenandoah 12. Want to thank our technical director, Jaron Aber, our cameraman, Andrew Dunlap. Want to thank you, Mark Brown, for bringing the color. I'm Bill Kastler with the call tonight. Final score once again, it is Barnesville 51, Shenandoah 12. Have a great rest of your night. Out. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports.